and we're going live now, but you'll see some of this stuff behind it. Never mind. Anyways, hello all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and welcome back to another stream. I know it's been a week. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to be real with you. I was not feeling it this past week, like Tuesday and Thursday when I normally would have streamed. I, I had a bit of a rough week, mainly. I mean, I guess just slowly settling into the place and like just work stress and everything and i just i genuinely didn't feel like streaming which i apologize for um but i just if i'm not feeling up to it it's not going to be a good stream you know not that the streams are good regardless you know even when i'm in a good mindset but no nah, i'm just kidding um well i don't know maybe you find it okay maybe you don't i don't know but anyways i'm back and essentially originally i was going to be streaming i think donkey kong country on tuesday and i was just like no i don't feel like it so i didn't um and yeah, so I will stream it eventually. However, um, let's just get into the game right now because I got a lot to do, assuming I want to uh, be able to do the next dungeon in the Lanebru area. But we're still exploring the Sand Sea right now. Um, not to the dungeon entrance just yet, but I'm hoping I can get there. And I mean, if I get there like half an hour, an hour in, I'm, I'm just going to do it now because it's, it might be a little longer of a stream because of that. But essentially, like I was saying before... Um, any audio video issues, by the way, let me know ahead of time. I know the lighting's kind of off, but, like, it's the best I could do. It's a little dark in the background. I, I'm still waiting on my string lights, which won't be coming in for a little bit because I ordered them off of Etsy. I think they're... Do they come from Thailand? I forget where, but not in the U.S. Um, so the shipping is going to take a while. Um, yeah! Okay. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So, oh, shout out to the uh, random two people who subbed in the last week, even though I wasn't streaming. So thank you. I appreciate that. Essentially, okay, I figured out, so I'll probably make, I'll, I'll probably announce this on Twitter and like make a, maybe a YouTube short for it so people who don't follow me on Twitter but they're here um, will know as well. Essentially, I'm thinking of, is this, oh, I thought, I assumed that could just blow it away, proceed. Um, essentially, ooh, rupees, I'm thinking of reducing my, the days, oh, no, ah, the amount of days I stream from three to two days. Nice. There we go. Um, yeah, because I, I normally I would do the Tuesday, Thursday, and then either Saturday or Sunday. Can't go in there. Um, but I just figured because I've really... I've been meaning to do other stuff besides, like, play games. And I'm not going to lie. Like, with full-time work, it's tough to even stream or it's tough to even find time to play games. Like, I don't play games ever since working full-time, which I started my first full-time job, um, was... These guys are tough. I gotta watch. Oh, shit. Um... Their tails will get you. Ooh. There we go. One down. There we go. Bye-bye. Um, with full-time work. <laughs> hey, Link, how's it going? <laughs> Link, I'm so glad you could join my stream. You're looking good, I must say. Look look at you're looking you're looking great, Link. You're in your prime here. How have you been? Have you said any yes lately? <laughs> but um, no, seriously, thank you for joining the stream. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, with full time work, which I started my first full time job, la like June of 2020. Um, obviously, I've only kind of been doing streams since what March. Oh, another Goron. Um, it's tough. It's really tough to find time to even play games, and like I also have other hobbies that I want to get into, like outside of streaming and just games. Um. So that's why I'm thinking of limiting it. You're doing good? <laughs> and yeah, you have been? Oh, great. That's that's awesome to hear. Hey, if you find any spare rupees, uh, <laughs> help a brother out, okay? <laughs> Link, when are we going to see the new, the next Breath of the Wild 2 trailer? Come on. T can you ask uh, Mr. Anumasan to uh, give us that next trailer soon? Thank you. I appreciate it. The station here was used by folks heading into the old mines. Okay. You still ride the minecarts. Gortram. We have I don't think we've met Gortram before. I'm probably supposed to tell you there's some safety information about using the carts. Oh, I'm sure, but who cares? We're gonna we're gonna neglect all the OSHA regulations and everything. We're just gonna go for it. Could be dangerous, so I would suggest you give it. Eh. Do I care though? I think I, okay, is this what it is? Oh no, it's essentially controls. Okay. Okay, press A to get on the cart. Oh, okay. I remember seeing footage for the, the minecart riding, actually. I, f I forgot this was, like, a thing. Okay. It's not like the carts or the, the little, um... Essentially the minecarts. It's not like the ones we had in the Lenny Mining Facility before. It's, like, actual, legit minecarts. Okay. 
Lean your body to balance the weight of the cart as you approach a curve. Okay, so we gotta, I'm assuming, lean with the right Joy-Con. Maybe the left, probably the right. Okay, B can slow down. And jump. Okay, so is jump just A still? Like, can you jump to... Alright, let's try it. Okay, so yeah, it's... Oh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta hold it horizontally and then move. Gotta dance to the beat. Link, you got the moves, man. Look at you go. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is gonna be... Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa, okay, this is crazy. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I gotta, like... No, oh, no, no! Okay, I gotta recalibrate. I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay. And I'll get a speed boost if I turn in the right direction. Okay. I feel like I have to constantly be recalibrating for this, because otherwise it's gonna completely mess it up, you know? Oh, yeah, we're going fast. Let's go! Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> I almost fell off right at the end there. That was funny. That was fun. That was kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I literally almost messed up at the very end. But cool, okay. Um, ooh, dragonflies, why not? I think I have plenty, but... Um, give some to... Hey, 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 hey. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Get in my neck! Ah! Okay, no. You went away. Anyways, yeah, so it's just... Oh, not these Moldorm scorpion dudes again. Ah, there's so many! Um... It's just, yeah, so essentially, because I just, I have other hobbies I really want to explore, and I, I think I've mentioned that before. I just, it's, with full-time work, it's tough, but also, when I'm streaming three times a week, that's literally half of my week. Ah! Um, so, I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it's a lot. So, I mean, while I do enjoy streaming here and there, I, like, I think reducing it to just twice a week will be good. Also, so what I'm thinking, I mean, I'm still debating what my schedule's gonna be, um... Because right now, the current schedule is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and either Saturdays or Sundays. Usually Sundays, by default. Um, you know, 7 to 9 p.m. I would still keep the two-hour streams. I think that's a good length. Um, oh, no, he's dead, Jim. There's got to be a time shift zone somewhere, right? Maybe not. I don't know. To the construction bay. Okay, did I miss anything, actually? I just want to double check. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. Cool. Um... So yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is like Mondays and Thursdays from now on for streaming. So what I'm going to do though, because I really want to beat Skyward Sword HD. I've been streaming it literally since it came out like every now and then for like literally, yeah, like two months. And also Metro I want to beat this before Metroid Dread comes out. I really do. Because I want to stream Metroid Dread and have that be the focus. And I've been, I've been streaming this game long enough as it is. So um, yeah, what I really want to do is just... I still, what I'm gonna try to do is, um, how do I jump, actually? Oh, do I flick it up? Okay. Ah! Okay, whoa! Okay. I gotta switch rails, I see. Whoa! Too much, too much, too much. Oh, I thought this is where I came from, okay. Ah! Woo! Okay, this is actually scary, I gotta concentrate, okay. <laughs> calibrate, calibrate, there we go, there we go. Okay, this is interesting. This is kind of scary. I gotta pay attention to this, but... Um, what I'm thinking right now is Mondays and Thursdays... Oh, no, 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 no. Mondays and Thursdays for a streaming schedule. After Skyward Sword. So I'm gonna be focusing on Skyward Sword from now on. Um, just, you know, doing a three times a week like normal. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and either Saturdays or Sundays. Um, just so I can really... I want to get through this game. I'm not sh fully sure, like, how much I have left... I mean, I know I'm a good way through. I'm like, I'm 25 hours in, and like most people, I think from what I saw, said like their first playthrough was like, was it 30 maybe? Um. Oh no. Okay. Ah. Okay. But like. Oh no 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 no. Okay 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 okay. Like, come on. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. The recalibrating is honestly like helping a lot with this. Because, like, if I'm leaning too far to one side, I can just recalibrate, and it almost, like, centers itself. So that's great. Um, somehow did that. That was very... I almost messed up many times. Um, I could just roll into these, right? No, I can't. But I can destroy them with a the sword. Okay. So, yeah, for now, Skyward Sword HD, I'm thinking just still the three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and either Saturdays or Sundays when I can. Um, just because, I mean, this is a long game, and I mean, yeah, like it says, I have a little over 25 hours, but I think I still have a ways to go, and I really just want to concentrate on getting this game done, which I know it sucks, because, like, I've 
pretty much only been streaming Skyward Sword HD for like the last couple months or so. But it's also last stop, okay. Um just gonna take a little take a little rest right here. Don't have no time for resting here. Um But once Skyward Sword HD's done, I'm gonna be I think just doing the twice a week, but I'll obviously like I said, you know, update on Twitter or um probably making YouTube shorts for it as well here, just so people who don't follow me on Twitter can know as well. Oh, thank you to whoever subscribed. Link, if you subscribe, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> if it wasn't Link, maybe it was Zelda. I don't know. Maybe it was Fi. I hope it wasn't Fi. Master, we have arrived at the shipyard construction bay. Fi is essentially the equivalent of a bot in real life. So, like, I don't want a bot subscribing to me. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Fi is the reason all there's no PS5 stock. There's no Switch OLED pre-order stock. There's none of that. No Xbox Series X stock. She's the reason. Actually, speaking of PlayStation 5, there, there's a topic. Um, I didn't watch it live, and, like, I'm not... Because I'm not a huge um, Sony person. I mean, I, I very much respect the franchises that they do. And, like, especially seeing that showcase they had last week, like... I thought it was a pretty good showcase. Um, I completely forget what Fi said. I was not paying attention. But, um, yeah, in terms of the... Um, only you can help us! can warn your co-workers enough to avoid pirate attacks. Yeah, these pirates really did a number on this place. The end of them, okay. This is funny, it's like a... They're all workers here. Yeah, I just gotta jump down. Okay. But, um... Yeah, the, uh... The Sony PlayStation Showcase the other day, last week, I thought it was actually pretty good. Um, as someone who is not, like, a fan of, um... Of, like, I don't, I don't have a PlayStation, I don't... I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, uh... Oh. Hello? Do I have to fight this thing again? Uh... Oh, jeez. I have to fight it again? Holy crap. Right. Ah, no! Ah! Okay, I was trying to... Is there an easy way to switch targets, actually? Is there an easy way I can switch targets? Okay, I can just like press the ZR button again. That'll do, donkey. Get the other claw. There we go. Okay. I think I'm damaging it. I can't even tell, to be honest. Ah! Fuck. Oh. There we go. Okay, I gotta take its claws out, right. I honestly don't even remember this boss, to be honest. There we go. There we go. Almost. It's got to be close. Um, the, the PlayStation Showcase, I thought, was pretty solid. Um, especially, I mean, I guess if you uh, if you didn't watch it, I, I would tune out now if you're interested at all. Um, oh, I see. The claw's bigger, so it's going to take a lot longer. Gotcha. Okay. I don't like that. Okay. Ah! Uh-oh. Let's get the gust bellows out again. Where are you? Where are you? I see you. Come on, get up. Ah! Okay, I think I have to stab it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, just stab it right in the eye. Come on, get over here. Hey. Where do you think you're going, Scorpion Man? Scorpion Man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land. Get out of there, I see you. Hey, excuse me. I see you right in there. Ah! Uh-oh. Whoa! Don't like that. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. What I need to do... I don't like the fact that he's just kind of... Nope. That he's just scurrying down. Nope. I'm trying to... Okay. There's the Gus Bellows. Oh, he's right there. That's scary. Ah! There we go. Ah! Oh, yeah. Okay. I figured he was gonna... Ah, he's right there! He's gonna block me with his, uh... Oh, jeez. I see you. Come on. Oh, no, he's gonna do it again. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I gotta do a better job of that. There we go. He's dead anyways. So, he's like a mini-boss now. Okay. Bye-bye. You're done. But, yeah, no, PlayStation Showcase, honestly, like... Yeah, if you haven't seen it and you're interested, I would, you know, tune out now. Because, like, I'm just gonna bring it up. Um, but now, spoiler alert, get that out of the way. Um, the chance of finding a clue in the sand here 
as the ship's location is extremely low. Oh, so the, the ship's not here. Okay. Okay, five, you say so. Um, but yeah, a lot of the... Obviously, we had a lot of the Marvel, like, Insomniac stuff was really cool. Um, I'm guessing this probably isn't going to do anything, huh? You know, I, I could find something here. You never know. Um, but yeah, like, the Wolverine game looked... Uh, the, I mean, here's the thing. They were all... A lot of this stuff was just teasers, so, like, it's... It's really tough to know, but, like, it's cool, like, teasers, teasers are good for, like, announcements of games that, like, we're not expecting. You know what I mean? Like, you know, seeing the, the Wolverine game, that was a cool little teaser. Um, Knights of the Old Republic remake they showed off. That was, I, I've never played it, but I know it's supposed to be a big, um, a really big deal. You're not gonna let me blow away with this, the sand with the gust bellows, huh, Five? What if I just want to clean up in here, huh? Want to dust it off a little bit? You never know. There could be a treasure. Uh, there could be a chest hiding somewhere in here, with a bunch of rupees. Maybe they hid like a thousand rupees in here. Maybe it's a piece of heart. I don't know. You know, you never know. No, I actually doubt it. I'm done here. <laughs> I cleaned a little bit, <laughs> but I'm done here. Um. But yeah, some of the Marvel games they showed, like some teasers, I feel like teasers are good when it's games that we don't expect or know about. But like, you know, like it, it, it isn't fully, teasers don't really give you a good, um, oh no, um, they don't, they don't give you a good, you know, representation at all of what the actual game's gonna be like. You know what I mean? Like it gives you like, it, it essentially teases the game itself. It's like, oh yeah, okay, it's, this is a Wolverine game, but we have no idea what the combat's gonna be like. It could be like Marvel Spider-Man, or it could be completely different. We don't know. Um, to be honest, I don't know if the Spider-Man flow of combat will work for Wolverine, but it be interesting to see. Um, yeah, the ship was not here. Oh, right, it's Skipper's ship specifically. But I think he said last stream that the robot pirates took over, so we got to essentially get the ship back. Um, we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates, okay? Is that the dungeon? Let's go! Let's go, Skipper! Skipper, we're gonna go find that ship. Well, we gotta go to the pirate stronghold first, I guess. This is reminding me a lot of uh, Majora's Mask, with uh, <laughs> in the uh, Great Bay area where you have to go uh, into the Gerudo Fortress. I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly, you have to go into the Gerudo Fortress. I think I forget what you have to get, but there's something in there you have to get in the Gerudo Fortress in order to access the. Uh, and I wanted to access the, the Great Bay Temple. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I, I, I kind of forget. I can't remember the, off the top of my head. It's been a little bit since I played. But, um... Never want to lay eyes on him. You gotta take the ship back, man. Oh, okay. That's where the pirate stronghold is. Gotcha. That's where we're headed. Right over there. <laughs> Whatever you have instead of bolts. Uh, I don't think you want to know, my friend. Still never got that Deku Hornet, huh? Okay, um, yeah, so it looks like I'm just headed, yeah, it's the beacon right there. Okay. Do I remember how to aim the cannon? Okay, yeah. ZR, and I'm gonna shoot those guys down. Get out of here. This, honestly? This, with, with all the enemies, like, on the platforms and stuff, just kind of aiming at the ship, that reminds me a lot of the Age of Calamity, um... The... Whoa, what the heck is that? There are sharks here? What in the world? That's terrifying. Okay. I gotta watch out for those guys. They just kind of appear out of nowhere. Oh, I'm headed the wrong way. Beacon's that way. Yeah, okay. My bad. <laughs> I was headed completely the wrong way, but hey, I killed the sharks. It's all good. Um, kind of reminds me of the... Uh... The Divine Beasts with the uh, the battles in Age of Calamity where you have, like, clearly not to the same scale, but, you know, you have, like, the enemies on the platform just shooting at you. You can just be like, oh, one attack, and they just, thousands of them die at once. Here we are. Woo. But, yeah, PlayStation Showcase, pretty good overall. I mean, I don't, I don't really care about God of Works. I don't know about it, to be honest, but I know a lot of people are excited. The Marvel games looked cool. Spider-Man 2 with, like, Venom and everything. That's awesome. Um... And a lot of those games just looked really good. I will say, it made me almost want to get a PS5. Especially for the Spider-Man 2 looked really good. Um, honestly, that one game that looked like Bayonetta, I think it was called Project Eve. That actually looked really good, too. 
but like, I'm still probably not going to get a PS5, even if I could get one, to be honest. But, um, wasn't too scary. They should all be dead. Oh, wait. Should they? Oh, okay. So that's interesting. So the robots here are aware that, like, they're usually dead, except for the time shift stones that brings them into the past. So... What I want to know is, like, is he the only one who's aware of that concept? Or, like, are they still technically, like, you know what I mean? Like, sentient when they're powered down like that? Or is it is it just Skipper specifically? Or someone already activated him with the Time Shift Stone, and that's how he knows. I don't know. I'm sure someone probably did. But, uh, especially if, like, I don't know. I don't, I, what is... We haven't even seen Zelda in a while. Was Zelda gone over here? I don't even remember where she went, to be honest. Um... She went through the gate of time, and that was the last time Link's are. It's time for you to go look for my ship. Okay. You'll wait here, of course. Thank you, Skippa. Okay, so now we're getting to the scary part with the, uh... The pirate stronghold. Arg, matey. Only the captain says arg. What I'm wondering is if this is the dungeon, or if the dungeon's the ship that we're looking for. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Ooh, no bombs! Bombs are good. Ah, oh, this kid is full away. Okay. Oh well. I think I already had some, but it's always good to catch bugs, especially for I mean, Stretch. You know, gets a lot of them for rupees and stuff. Um, anything over here? No. Okay. There are keys, though. I'll take your heart. Thank you. You know what's an interesting concept is like. I'm trying to remember, was Zelda was Zelda on the NES the first game to actually use, like, little heart, like, icons as health? Or maybe, there must, I'm, I'm trying to think, there must have been a game before that, maybe. Um, but it's kind of messed up when you think about it, because, like, are you technically, if you kill an enemy and it drops its, a heart, are you literally, like, absorbing its heart, like, its actual, like, heart, like, the organ? And, like, that's how you're getting health? Like, I want to know... The original idea behind that. I mean, I'm sure the original idea was like, oh, you kill an enemy, it's just gonna drop this little thing that gives you health. And it's like, okay, we're just gonna go with a heart. Because not every game goes with hearts, right? Um, oh my! I hate these giant dudes. Stop it! No! Oh no! That's terrifying. I didn't know they could get that big. No! No! It's funny, it's almost like the choo-choos in this game kind of take up the, uh, the role that the like likes did in the previous, like, older Zelda games. Um, just by the fact that they just, like, kind of absorb you. Oh, there's a door there. Was there a door at the front? Or no? Because if not, that has to be where I'm supposed to go in. No, there's not. Okay, I just, I gotta go in there, I guess. What is this shape like, by the way? I'm trying to see... Is this... No, this isn't a ship, right? I'm guessing this is their ship or something? Because it's definitely a ship shape right there. <laughs> a ship shape. Say that like 10 times fast. That's a tongue twister. Um, I don't really think I have anything else to say about the PlayStation Showcase, to be honest. It was like... Cause because I'm not like a huge... Um... Oh no, this is not the dungeon. Okay. Because I'm not uh, like a really a Sony fan. Because I've never owned a, a PlayStation console. Um, oh, interesting. I just, I don't have, I feel like I don't have a lot to say, but the Marvel stuff, I mean, I like Marvel, and the seeing them make Wolverine and then Spider-Man 2, I'm sure that's going to be amazing. Heard really good things about the original and Miles Morales, so I'm sure those will be good, but I just, I don't have a ton of attachment to most of the games they showed. Um, yeah, it was a good presentation overall. I'm just waiting for that Nintendo Direct that's supposedly being rumored for this month, but everybody was like, oh, it was, gonna be, it was supposed to be last week, and of course it didn't happen. Um... I still feel like it might happen, but it's probably going to be later this month. Like, probably not this week. Maybe next week. It could be this week. I'm going to guess next week if I had to guess, but, like, who knows? Um, I've talked about that rumor direct plenty of streams, like the last couple of streams, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But it'd be great if it's there, and I would love to do a... Pro I probably won't be able to do a live reaction. It's usually the directs are, like, um, during my work day. Sometimes, occasionally, they're, like, after my work is over like around like 5 p.m eastern which would be amazing if they did that again because then i could actually do like a live reaction which would be great otherwise i'm just gonna stay off social media and just do a reaction to it later but hopefully we get one within, within the next couple weeks i feel like we might but 
same time, it's already halfway through September, so we'll see. They might want to wait till after Metroid Dread releases, I'm not sure, but... I don't know if Nintendo's ever done a Direct in October before, or that late. But yeah, okay, this is meant to hold the Time Shift Stone. Oh, so I wonder... We can carry those around, right? So I'm wondering if... They were used as a power source in this facility. Okay. That door's locked. So yeah, I, I'm... Because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing some footage. I've seen footage here and there of this game. I think... There's at some point I can actually, like, carry around some time shift stones, so I think that's what I need to do. Oh, that was locked. Okay, I was, I was saying that I didn't... I could have gone down that hallway, but... Ooh! Rupees! Oh, no! Lazolfos, that's not good. What are you doing in the pirate stronghold? You guys aren't robots. Ah! Ah! Oh! No! There we go. Hey, you know be great is if, uh... Why aren't they letting me attack them now? This is great. <laughs> what was that? That was wild. Oh, my, my shield broke? Shit. That's not great. Ah! Okay, well, I'll probably want to... What I want to do... Wait. Since when does the, uh... Is are the upgraded shields supposed to be able to break? Whoa, okay. Why am I not doing too good? Hi, can, can you try to attack me? There we go. Whew. Oh, come on. You're gonna let me get that heart, right? Ooh, and this is I didn't realize the Zolfo Tales of Material. That's cool. There we go. Good job. No, not yet. Okay. Now you're done. Bye bye. I will take your tail. See, the hearts, it's kind of like the tail, right? Because you can get monster parts in this game, just like in Breath of the Wild, so it's like... <laughs> why are the hearts not also just their actual hearts, you know what I mean? Oh, these guys are super annoying. I hate these guys. You see a good bomb will take care of them, though, but still, they're super annoying. Go, Link. Barely, okay. They really make you work for that one. In we go. I'm excited because I ordered a bunch of... Uh, I probably mentioned this, like, last week. I ordered a bunch of posters off of Etsy for my new... Because I'm in, in, my, in my new apartment. Um, just moved in a couple weeks ago, but I ordered a bunch of Etsy posters. Ooh, there's a time shift stone. Um, and I, there's a couple gaming ones I got going in the back. You can see the Jet Set Radio one slightly, like, right up, um, above where my finger is now. Um, but I got a couple of other posters. I'm not going to say what they are because they should be coming in this week, I think. Um... So maybe you'll see them on one of the other streams I do, but I'm excited for them. I'm not going to say what they are, but they uh, they look kind of cool. And then I got some music posters coming in that I got all the music posters on this side of the wall. You can't see it now, but that's uh, what I got coming in there. And then eventually the string lights are going to go up, which should make the lighting a lot better. But I'm going to put those around the top of these walls. I got to figure out how long they are. I'm not sure how long, but hopefully it should make the lighting a little better too. Because it would be nice to have like some actual lighting, because all I got is my desk lamp, which is kind of what's lighting up my face, even though I have it pointed away, so it's not it was too bright before, but that's kind of what's illuminating my face right now. I don't even have the ring light on my camera. Um, and then you got the lava lamp in the corner, which is kind of working. You can't see it, but um, it's kind of working. And then I got the other color changing light over there. So if you see some changes in colors, that's why that light's kind of going off over there. But okay, this time shift, so yeah, it looks portable. It looks like we can, oh, it's a time shift orb. Okay. It was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. So I can bring it back to the other area, right. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, I might as well go back to that previous area. I might as well if I can. Oh, I can't. I can't? Okay. Yeah, okay, never mind. Because there, there was a little, uh... A little uh, holder in there that I could place the orb in, but it's, uh, it's looks like it won't let me go back that way. So I gotta go the roundabout way. There's gotta be a way to bring it back. <laughs> nope, you're gonna die. Bye. Oh <laughs> no, I'm gonna kill him. Not you ready? I Thanos snapped him. <laughs> Alive, dead. Alive, dead. Alive, dead. Hello, friend. <laughs> Two hits and now he's dead. Oh no! Now he's actually dead. <laughs> cool. Okay. It's probably gonna be more. Yeah, there's a guy right there. Oh no. 
That's not good. There we go. Stay dead this time, thank you. I love Tau. I think it was it was in the uh, Lene Remining facility. I don't know if it was the dungeon or the, or the overworld, but um, I love how like oh no, gosh, shit, these guys. Um, oh, I just kind of slice the totem pole, don't I, to kind of knock it down, and then I think it might be a bomb. I'm not sure, but the fact that I don't have a shield is not great. So once I get to the next bird statue, I'm gonna go back to Skyloft and get a shield because I really do need one. Um, no, oh, come on. Slash. Boom. Oh. Come on. To be honest, though they're technically... I'm pretty sure that's the equivalent of the BMOs in this game. I, I find those technically to be a little easier than... Um, than the BMOs in, like, previous Zelda games. Like, I'm especially thinking, like, Ocarina and Majora. Um, ooh, yay, rubies. Always good. Oh, I could also get the last adventure pouch while I'm out there, too, when I um, go back to Skylap to get another shield. I just realized that would be great. Um, okay, we're good this way. Ooh, we gotta traverse this way. Interesting, okay. Uh... Ooh, there's a little flower. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is wild. Yeah, this is actually crazy. What the heck? The fact that these, like, structures can just show up because of the time shift zone. Like, you can literally manipulate the environment with the time shift zone. That's so cool. Um, so let me try to... What? Hold up. I gotta get the time shift stone over there. So... But it won't let me throw it to the platform? Is it really not gonna make that? Huh. I can't run with this, right? No, okay. Can I make the jump? I can make the jump. Okay. So now, let me see. I think I gotta bring it to this platform over here. Can I... Okay, I can do that. Okay, I can make it this way. There we go. Ah, there we go. I didn't know there was another structure that appeared over here. Perfect! Alright. Gotta use that brain. Gotta have them ribs. It's my favorite Obama quote, if you, uh... If you didn't know, if just look up, gotta have them ribs, and it'll be a quote of Obama. He says something else, too, but it's, it's not really family-friendly, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna mention it here, but... Okay, let me pull this switch. Do I have to... No, I don't have to hang on to it. Okay, cool. I was worried I was gonna have to hang on to that, but... Luckily, it's not that difficult. Okay. Cool, okay. This is kind of a... This isn't the dungeon itself, but this is cool. I like it. Uh-oh, we got Deku Babas. Alright. Whoa! Hey, don't eat my orb. Do not... Excuse me. Do not eat my orb. Oh. Oh, right. Duh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I, I... What? No! How was I supposed to see it? <laughs> Good night, moon. Okay, now let me... Yeah, so it's, it's actual quicksand. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was quicksand or you just kind of walk on top of it, but... Let me see... Just rupees? Ooh, no. Okay, an evil crystal. I gotta figure out what, um... What those evil crystals are supposed to be used for... I'm guessing to upgrade some kind of weapons, but I'm still I'm not sure, so. Yeah, I figured there's gonna be another one here. Whoa! Don't eat my orb, hey. You're not allowed to eat my orb at all. No, I don't think so. I swear, I swear I was doing an exact horizontal slash. Are you they okay? I don't know why that took that long. So, I, I have trouble with the horizontal slashes sometimes, to be honest. Like, I swear sometimes I do it, but it just it doesn't actually pick up on that. Oh. Whoa. There we go. What? Ah! There we go. One more. I find the vertical slashes a little easier to be precise with. Um. 
Ehi. Ai. Ai. Don't attack me, man. Get out of here. Give me your heart. No, okay. Oh. There we go. I did it first try that time. Ah! Okay. Did not realize you could reach that far. All right, man. Come on. Let's go. I'm definitely better at the vertical slash. It's just interesting how... Not always the most precise. Okay. Ah! No. I don't like this. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on, dude. You serious? I'm trying to separate them, because otherwise it's going to electrocute me when he actually goes to attack me. That's not what I want. What? Okay. Oh, that guy. Okay. Let's get the bombs out. Bye! Do I have any potions, actually? I could grab another potion while I'm in Skyloft, but let me see. Do I have any now? I got a fairy. That'll work. Hey, Sid, how's it going? You usually just parry them. I suck at trying to make Link do the perfect... Oh, the, um... You can parry the, um... The Deku Babas? Really? I didn't realize that. When you say parry... Or were you talking about the, uh... Like, the electric Bokoblin dudes? Because I'm really bad at parrying those guys. At least being able to place where to go. Um... What do I need this, uh, thing for? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I see, because that's a thing. Can I... Do I need... Does this need to be activated for me to move it? No. Okay. Um... Yeah, because if you're talking about the Deku Babas, that would actually... I didn't realize you could parry them, to be honest. Um... The thing is, I mean, I assume... I, oh. Oh. I see. Okay. That's why that door is there. What? I didn't do anything to turn that switch on. Okay. <laughs> I swear I didn't touch the switch. I don't know why it just turned on and off on its own, but... Okay. Yeah, I need to... Nope. Come on, Nick. There we go, buddy. Alright. There we go. Now... Oh, hold up. Now... Okay, can I throw... Nah, you know what? Okay, hold up. I gotta go the other way, don't I? Because otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to... Okay, so essentially... what if I... Actually, what if I put it here? So it's like not... Yeah, that should work, right? Oh, no. Okay, a little too close. So that way I can... Yeah, that should... That should do it. Can I make it from here? Oh, yeah. I'm good. Okay, there we go. There we go. Took a little bit of finagling. Um, parry in this game is shielding. Oh, okay. The shielding right before it attacks. Right, okay. I've done that with the Octoroks before. Yeah, see, I would parry them, but I broke my shield, so I can't do that now. I didn't realize you could actually... I mean, I guess I never thought about it, that you can actually parry some of the other enemies. Um... The only ones I ever really parried are the the deck uh, the sorry the Octorox because they uh, they shoot out the projectile. I didn't even realize you could parry the Deku Babas. That's cool. Um, it, st it stuns them. So even bosses. Okay, interesting. Or some of them. Okay. It also doesn't drain shield usage. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, that's good to know because that's the one thing I'd be worried about is if like you parry correctly and, or yeah you parry and it just like gets rid of like half of your shield's durability or something like that. Okay, so I can't get in there yet. Well, actually, what happens if I just do this? Because I kind of want whatever's in that chest over there. Okay. Uh-oh. What? Oh, interesting, okay. 
one of those like things of barbed wire that, would, with if I brought the time shift orb in in here, wouldn't uh, it would make that go away. But uh, let me see. I still have one more item slot too, so I'm wondering. Cause what did I get? I got the I got the claw shots or the yeah I got the claw shots from uh, the second trial last time I believe. Um, so maybe I get the third one from the third trial. I'm pretty sure the bow and arrows in this game, so I think that's what it is. But I don't even know for sure. Maybe it's another item. I don't know. But I like some of the item designs so far in this game. It's definitely different than your typical stuff. The claw shots. I mean, returning from the dual claw shots from uh, Twilight Prince is really cool. I love to see that. Um, you'll love to see it. Okay, these guys are completely disconnected. Okay. So it looks like I can't bring the orb in here. But what I can do... Ooh, fairy, hold up. I yet yeah, get over here. Scoop them up. Scoop in the poop. Sorry, fairy, I shouldn't have called you poop. You're not poop, you're great. You are special. Okay. Let's, um... Let me try in here. There's got to be a way to get in here. Take out this Beemos. I see you. Stop shooting your laser for two seconds. Thank you. There we go. You know, they're not so intimidating once you figure out how to actually uh, damage them. I will say. I figure just based on their stature, I figured they would have been a lot more intimidating. But they're really not too, too bad. I remember it. Oh! Remember, it took me a while to uh, figure out how to actually take out, take them out. I was, because I'm used to the older Zelda games where it's like, okay, usually, you know, you throw the bomb at the eye or whatever, and that'll destroy it, but you don't even use bombs here. It's just interesting. Oh, what the heck? Wait, wait, wait. Ah, okay, if I put it here... Right, if I put it here, I can get rid of that guy out here. So now, let me try... Yeah, the switch. What is that going to do? Oh, it's just gonna open that up? Okay, now I can bring it in here. I think. Hopefully. Unless it's another catch. I don't know. Now we're good. Okay. Now to take out these guys. Ah! Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh, yeah, these guys are weird. Okay, the thing is, I gotta keep them in. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't like having both of them at the same time. It's a little scary. Can I get the, the orb out of here? Can I, please? No? I guess not. Okay, I'm a little limited in terms of what I can do. Whoa! Okay, let me... Get him. There we go. If I keep him there, away from me, that, that would be ideal. Come on. Come on. Get him. There we go. One down, one to go. They just kind of, kind of kept cornering me. Two of these guys, they're pretty big, so like they just kind of uh, you know, kept cornering me a little bit. But if I take one at a time, it's not too bad. These are essentially... Oh, nice. Okay. These are essentially the equivalents of the, um... What are they called? Armos, I think? Is that what the statues are called in Zelda? It's really interesting to see, like, how they change up some of the, uh... The, the enemy designs in this game, you know? Compared to playing previous Zelda games, so... But then it's interesting because it's technically the origin of the other Zelda games, so it's like... Technically... The other games are changing, but they're here, but... You know what I mean? It's, it's cool to see. Oh! Is this... Yeah, this is the very beginning. Okay. Let me try... Yeah, what happens if I put it here? Oh, is it gonna open that door? What's it gonna do? Oh, okay. That has to be the night. Oh, that is totally... Is it a... Oh, is it a crocodile? Is that what it's supposed to be? That's kind of what it looks like. That is 100% the next dungeon. That has to be. 744? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. Hell yeah, I'm doing it. That's got to be the next dungeon. Like I said, this this uh, stream might go a little over just because if that is the dungeon, I mean, it might take a little bit. But it's not like I'm going to end the stream now. I still have so much time. So if I go a little over, it is what it is. Um, cause a change in the structure. Right, and this was the way I came in, right? So I'm not going to go back out that way. But I can now go out here. And I'm guessing that's got to be the entrance to the dungeon. I know the boss of the dungeon. Because I've seen it, um... They, they actually showed it in some of the trailers for this uh, HD re-release. Um, oh. Wait, wait, wait. I thought... 
Huh, okay, I thought that was the, uh... Gotta be the entrance, but hold on, this is something different, okay. There's gotta be another entrance or something, I don't know. Whoa. That was a lot of the neighbor ants, where'd they go? No. Get in my net, I want- Oh, oh there's one more, there's one more. They all sacrificed themselves in the line of duty, but not you! Not you! You are getting in my net! There we go. <laughs> that took way too long. Okay. Um, speaking of draining shield usage, I am probably going to go back to Skyloft and get another shield because... Um, information report. Okay. I, I would like another shield for this dungeon. A 60% probability that these masks are from the... Oh! So what, this is the ship? The ship that holds Lenebu's flame. Okay. But right, so that's... Do I have to travel to another... Oh, so I have to go to a completely different area. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what's that over there, actually? Yeah, this place really changed. What the heck? It really changed up. Okay. It reminds me of the, uh, not to, uh, you know, have the obligatory Sonic reference in every stream. Um, no. Too fast. My bad. Um, pretty much, if there was a, if you've ever played Sonic Adventure, there's a similar thing with the, uh, ooh, there's a claw shot place up there. There's a similar thing with, uh, the egg carrier. When you get to that hub world, you can actually, if you press a switch, it'll transform it completely. It kind of reminds me of that, but why is there a claw shot up there? Hello, friend. Why are you there? Whoa. Is there something up here? Oh, there's an upper area? Whoa, okay. We got a goddess cube. Good thing I checked up here. Give it one of them good old slashes. There we go. Off you go to the great beyond. I feel like every other stream I make that joke. As much as- as mu I love a Spongebob reference as much as the next guy, but like, it's a little much. Okay, so that was just a goddess cube. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm glad I found it. Now... Ooh. I don't need that. Really? I needed the sailcloth for that? Somehow I doubt that. Um, there's something over here. What is this? I'm thinking what I really need to do, though. Oh, okay, it's just these boxes up here. Right, because essentially... Oh, no. Um, sorry. No, I didn't mean to call you. Get away from me, fine. Okay. It's out there. So if I open my map... Nah, it's not gonna let me, huh? Can I douse while I'm on the... the ship? Well, let me do that. Because there's no way it's in this area. It's gotta be in a separate area. Um... Before I forget, let me go to Skyloft right now quickly just to get all that stuff. Um, I just, I want to make sure I get some potions, get another, um, a shield. And also, I mean, maybe I can just upgrade that pouch while I'm at it too. Um, yeah, this stream is 100% going to be a little longer. Oh well, it is what it is. I mean, unless, like, getting to the entrance of the dungeon is really going to take, like, as long as I think it is... We'll see. We'll see. It depends on how long it takes me to get to the entrance of the dungeon. Right? Because, I mean, it looks like I'm almost there. So... Part of me just kind of wants to do it now, but I don't know. It might take a little while. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to make sure I'm prepared now. So that way, if I do need to do the dungeon... Um, if I can do the dungeon, like, sooner, like, in this stream then that way I can actually make sure I'm ready and prepared to do everything. So, down we go. No side quest for now. I gotta go back to Fledge too, I gotta remember. Um, I don't think I ever got the gratitude crystals from him. Unless I did last stream, but I don't think I did. I could be wrong, I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. I still have the shield, right? I just have to repair it? Oh, that goddess chest. It's just, uh, I think, I think it's activated. What are you talking about? What? Do I have to buy the shield again? Are you serious? 
Oh, you're... Wow. Okay. I gotta buy the stupid shield all over again, don't I? How much is it? Hmm. Do I take my chances with anything electric? No, probably not. Yeah, I'll buy it. Fine. Give me the stupid wooden shield. Give me the stupid thing. <laughs> Screw you, Ruben. Okay. Um. Hey. Let's up the. Uh, maybe I wonder if I can upgrade the shield. I, I might, I'm honestly wondering if I should even upgrade it, or if it's just gonna get destroyed in the process. Might as well. It's improved durability. I don't know how I destroyed it before. I'm guessing it was against the Lizalfos. Okay. Come on, Gundo. I can skip it, but it's all the fun, right? Thank you, my friend. Now I got the bandage shield again. But it's good to know it can still actually break, though. I definitely... I think it was against the Lizalfos that it really got bad. Oh! Wow. Yeah, you know what? I can afford it. Let's do it. Even more durability? Let's do it. Because I really... I don't... Um, I don't want to bring in the iron shield, because that's just gonna... I, I'm pretty sure... I don't know if it does, like, more damage... Or you just can't deflect electric attacks, but, like, it's especially bad. Um, when I go to the Elden area again, I'm definitely going to want the Iron Shield, but... Let's do this for now. Any other upgrades I can do? Oh, I actually... <laughs> you need evil crystals for that? Okay, good to know I need Tumbleweed. Um, that's cool, it actually gives you more... A uh, hundred? No. I don't know. No. I'm not paying 100 rupees to upgrade that. Uh, I think it was the extra seeds, but I will pay... Got two empty bottles, okay. Um, I'm just gonna do one, maybe? No, no, I'll do two. So I was thinking maybe I might come across another fairy in the dungeon, but at the same time, I probably don't want to risk that. Then again, I have a fairy and... Eh, screw it. Might as well, I have the rupees. No, 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 I don't want to know. No, no. no, thank you. I want the red one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, love. Okay, there we go. Or lube, love, lube, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce anything in Zelda, to be honest. Okay. Thank ya. But, okay, I'm good here. The one other thing I kind of want to do, I have enough rupees for it, is to go see Beetle and get the last uh, item pouch upgrade. I should be able to afford it now. I kind of want to just grab that from him while I'm here. No! Get that belt! There we go. <laughs> ring, ring! What's that? Mordecai and Rigby are banned from using the house phone. Okay. I haven't watched a regular show in, honestly, forever, but I used to watch it a lot, like, back on Cartoon Network when it was still kind of a thing and around. Um... Never watched the final season, though. So I don't know how weird it got. I heard one of my high school friends was into regular show. I think he watched the final season. He said it was very weird, but... Um, supposedly it was pretty good. Ended on a good note. I believe this was 1,200. I, I definitely don't need it. <laughs> hey, Sloshical, how you doing? Yeah, sorry, I, I didn't stream the last week. I just wasn't in the mood, but... Um, back to it now. Good to see you in the chat. That was a lot of rupees. And now he's not going to kick me out of his little flying bungalow thing. Okay, cool. Um, I really wanted that last adventure pouch, though. Oh, I never got the goddess chest either. Hold up. In the bazaar. I'm going to go back. Fledge, you can wait. <laughs> I'll get to you later. I got to go visit him at night anyways to get those gratitude crystals, I think. Oh, Sloshkull, have you been feeling better, by the way? Have you, have you been recovering? Resting? I hope you feel better. I know that was a week ago last time you told me, but I hope you've been feeling better. Um, let me open this while I'm here, before I forget. You only remembered that one episode where they punch each other over a video game? Yes! Which one was that? I'm trying to remember what, like, what game it was, but, ooh, 300 rupees? Jeez. Um, yes, Sid, that sounds familiar. Um, 
That might have been the first episode. Nah, I don't know if it was the first episode. I don't remember exactly. Uh -huh. Now Patrice is like completely in love with Link. Just oh my. Patrice, come on. You haven't played Skyward Sword since the last time you streamed it? Oh, really? Okay. I know you were still a little bit ahead of me, so... Um... Heart Metal gives you more hearts, right? I don't really need anything else. See, I don't want to bring the Reinforced Shield because I don't... I mean, okay, would I rather... What does the Heart Metal do again? Does it just let you get more hearts? You still have a lingering cough. Oh, and you're back to work. Okay, that's, I mean, it sucks you have to go back to work, but I mean, hey, at least, uh, at least you're doing better. You know, at least it's just, yeah, the lingering cough. I've heard the cough is like the one thing that tends to last a while. Um, but hey, I mean, glad to hear you're doing better at least. That's, that's awesome to hear that. Um, maybe I will take the reinforced shield just to be safe. Honestly, just in case this breaks again, I'm going to take it just to be safe. Yeah, Patrice really- she used to be so bored, and now she really likes me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, girl. I'll see you later, I guess. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna head- I think there's- is there anything else I want to do? I don't think so. Now I'm gonna head back to, uh, where I just was and actually, I think, start the next dungeon. I mean, unless- I'll have to see how long it takes to get to the dungeon entrance. Because the thing is, it's like- if it's gonna take me another half hour to get to the dungeon entrance... No! Okay. I might just... At that point, I might end the stream early, just because... I don't want to purposefully go over just for that. I don't know. So maybe it'll be a shorter stream. I don't know. But, um... For those of you like Sloshical, and I don't know if Sid, you were around at the beginning of the stream. Um... For Skyward Sword, I'm still gonna try to be streaming the three times a week. Um, so like Tuesdays, Thursdays, and either Saturdays or Sundays. It's usually Sundays I do it. Um, but after Skyward Sword, I'm just gonna go down to streaming two times a week. So if, if any of you will actually be watching any streams after that, once I'm done with Skyward Sword HD, then, um, I think I'm just gonna go down to two times a week. But I still have to decide fully what I'm actually doing with that. Um, just cause, I mean, I have other stuff I want to do during the week, and it's also with, with full-time work, it's just tough to, like... It just, it drains you, and it's like, sometimes I don't want to stream it, I'd rather do other stuff, but, you know. Um, that was kind of me this past week, I just wasn't in the mood to stream at all, but I, I was, like, wanting to stream, because I'm like, I need to get through this game, because I want to, I want to experience more of it, and then I also want to make sure it's done before Metroid Dread. Um, Pirate Stronghold, yeah, that's where I want to go. But, like, yeah, after this game, just because, I mean, I, I probably have a decent amount left, I just, I really want to... Um, do three times a week still for this game, and then once this is done, move to two times a week, but, um, luckily that means yay, more Skyward Sword, because I'm, I'm really, honestly, I'm enjoying this game, even though it's been spread out over the last couple of months for me with the different streams I've been doing, I've been enjoying it, so. Why do I not have, like, the legit chat up? Okay, let me get that up. I, I've, I've been literally just referring to the chat in OBS right now, and it's so much smaller. There we go. Okay. Hello, hello, Chad. Hello, everybody. Um, found a clue. Oh, the Blues Clues, the 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 tweet they put out with Steve. Um, yeah, with Steve. That was that one got me because I used to watch Blues Clues, um, literally all the time as a kid. I was obsessed with Blues Clues and just like seeing him with that heart. The heartfelt message was really great. Um, my nephew actually watches Blue's Clues now, which is funny. I guess they, they have a completely different person who does, like, the main role. Um, and I don't think... I'm pretty sure my sister told me that it's not the mailbox anymore. Like, they legit have, like, the emails instead. It's, like, it's not the same, you know what I mean? It's not the same as getting a physical letter in the mail. There was always something so exciting about that, because it was just, like, an envelope. You didn't know what was in it. So that's what, that's what made that exciting. But the fact that it's still going is awesome, to be honest. There's a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view, but if we attack it... Oh, right, because it's invisible. I forgot about that. I can douse. Nice. Okay. What? Okay, it's over there. Hold up. It's over that way. So now... Oh, let me... Yeah, let me recalibrate a little bit. And now what I'm going to do... Whoa. Okay, hold up. There we go. I was a little off for a second. What? Wait. Oh. Wow, it's gonna be way over there, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be, like, way over here. Huh, okay, I'm just gonna, like... 
place the cursor right there. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Okay, interesting. I gotta go all the way over there. Uh, how do I get a dowsing? There we go. All good. Did you already do the shipyard and pirate stronghold? I did, uh, Sloshical. I just finished the pirate stronghold. Um, and the shipyard was the one with the minecarts, right? That was terrifying. I did it at the beginning of the stream. Um, that was scary. Because, like, just balancing the minecarts, like, I, I almost fell off a couple times. That was scary. Still not as difficult as the Donkey Kong Country minecart sections, but <laughs> terrifying in its own right. But that was fun. I enjoyed that part of it. Uh-oh. Let's get rid of these guys so they stop attacking me. Yeah, I'll leave one of you there to go go tell your friends, spread the word that uh, bad boy Link's in town. He's going to kill you all with the cannon here. Oh, you gotta go. Thought you'd just stop by. Oh, hey, no, I appreciate you stopping by, Sloshical. Yeah, have a good night. Or day, or whatever time it is for you. Um, yeah, see you later. I appreciate when people just stop in just to say hi or whatever. Like, any interaction in chat's always great. But even then, like, even people who don't interact in chat, like, I get it. Because, like, to be honest, when I'm watching a live stream, which honestly isn't that often, I'll occasionally watch live streams. But, um... I tend not to interact in chat too much, to be honest, so I completely understand the, um... Oh, no! No! Is that gonna, like, actually deal a lot of damage to me? No, okay, we're good. I don't like where I'm at right now. This is a little tight. So I completely, yeah, like, I completely get not interacting in chat, so... If you just watch the VOD, or... Yeah, if you watch the VOD or you watch live and you're not interacting in chat, like... Literally do whatever you're comfortable with, right? However you're enjoying these streams, if you are, that's all that matters. It's all that matters to me, at least. But I do appreciate people who do talk in chat. For those who do. It makes... It, it's weird, though, because it makes me realize, like, I mean, I'm technically... If I wasn't streaming, I'd just be pretty much doing what I'm doing now, just playing the game, right? And it's just, like, the fact that, like, you know... Some of you are actually watching me. It's kind of a weird feeling, to be honest. It's like, oh, okay. People are actually watching me. Got it. Um, okay, it's... Whoa, I gotta really recalibrate. Okay. It's way out there. The heck? It's probably... It's it's almost like it's near the beginning area where I started off before. Oh, huh, okay. Let me put it over there. Yeah, I really gotta recalibrate. Jeez, okay. Let me... Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, is it right here? Oh, it's literally right here. Where'd it go? It was right there. I had it. What happened? It was literally right here. It must literally, the ship has to be right here. No, sorry, if I did not mean to call you. Let me douse again. What the heck? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. wait. What the heck? Wait, did it move? Oh, is it moving? It must be moving. Okay. I gotta speed up, actually, then. Fire! There it is. Okay. Yeah, that was it. That's the ship. It's invisible. I forgot about that. But can it not, like... I'm sure, like, I must have run into it before, like, when just exploring this area. So how did I not, like, run into it? Okay. I gotta catch up with it now. You can't escape me! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! Get out of here, come on. Okay, if I'm about to start the dungeon, then yeah, I'm going to do the dungeon this stream. It just might mean it's going to be a little longer of a stream. That was cool. There was something similar in Phantom Hourglass, if I remember correctly. There was a ghost ship, I think. I wonder if they took a little bit of inspiration from that. But this, so this is cool, though, because the ship is the actual dungeon. Like, that's super cool. Or I assume it's a dungeon. Maybe it's not even a dungeon. I don't know. No, it is. The sand ship. Okay. There we go. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna start it. I mean, I'm like an hour in. So, it, like I said, it's probably gonna be a little over. Um, 
the typical two hours, but that's fine. I usually go a little longer anyways. And hey, the more progress I make here, the better. Cool. Okay. So. Ooh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of floors. Okay. So, there's going to be some time shift stones nearby. Or the orbs. Could be the orbs. But I gotta find those. Probably somewhere in the lower depths of the ship. Can I go anywhere? I can go in that door, is that it? The captain's quarters. It is captain's hour. Just gotta check it out. I went on a, uh, a little bit of an adventure today. Um, it's kind of ominous, the music. <laughs> um, I went to... Uh, in, so, I, like I was saying before, I moved to a new apartment just literally just two weeks ago. Um, it's, it's been nice so far, but... Um, they have, like, this town forest in the, the town that I'm staying at. And uh, I figured I'd just explore it. So it was one of those, like, if you've, you know, been to, like, um, you know, town or state forest or, like, random, like, like nice areas in the woods to walk over to the side. Like, some of the entrances to those places are super cryptic. Like, you know, it's kind of like NES Zelda. Like, it's hard to find. <laughs> you gotta just burn some bushes and there's your entrance right there. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it was pretty tough to find. I, I definitely I missed the entrance at first. <laughs> That zombie. Um, it was tough to find, but once I was there, it was it was pretty solid. It was it was very small. There was just a few walking paths, and it was pretty small. But just to kill a little bit of time and just to like explore a little bit, it was fun. I, I like going on like walks in the woods occasionally if I have access to them. Growing up, my parents um, they're still in the same house, but they have a lot of. Uh, I need the heart for this. They have a lot of uh, like woods in their backyard, um, and as a kid. I see. Do I Skyward Strike it, I think? Oh, no. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta draw on it or whatever. What am I supposed to draw again? Isn't it like a heart or something? To get more hearts or something? That's a heart. You see that? <laughs> oh, I don't think I counted it. I don't know. It's tough to tell. But yeah, essentially, yeah, they still, they still have that house with a bunch of woods in the backyard. I used to kind of walk around there a lot when I was younger. Just kind of explore some areas. I would actually, like... You know how a lot of trails have, like, the markers on them to tell you, you know, which trail you're on. It'll be, like, a different color to represent a different trail. Um, I would take, like, a bucket of chalk with me and just kind of walk through those woods and, like, mark paths. And then I'd go on them later, like, during the summer months, like, when I was off from school. I would go, uh, walk in the woods a bit and do that. Just like Miyamoto. That's how he came up with the inspiration for Zelda, apparently. On his little walks. <laughs> a heart. Yeah, Sid, Sid, you saw that. That was a heart. That was 100% a heart. You saw that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing the, like, if you actually draw a heart, I think you get, like, the maximum number or something like that. I'm guessing that wasn't the max number with the three there, but I, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Or you just draw whatever you want. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised, but... Can't make it too difficult for players, right? You gotta have perfect artistic skill in order to beat Skyward Sword. What?! You saw that, right? The heart literally just disappeared through the wall, I think. What? Is it on the other side of the wall? That was weird. Okay. Ah, these stupid guys. Okay. Good thing I got bombs to kill. What? Oh, I should roll it. Bye-bye. There we go. I was going to say, I was like, I'm I don't know why I didn't make it that far. Can I make this? I think I can, right? Go, Link, go. Go, Link, go. Go, Link, go. Go, Link, go. Ooh. That was terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Barely made that. I wonder if there was another way I was supposed to do that. Oh, well. These doors are blocked off. What is this? Could I possibly? Oh, I could possibly. Does that do anything? I don't know if this is supposed to do anything. Okay. It's actually acting like a fan, though, with the propellers, so good to know that I can use that. I just don't know if it's supposed to do anything. Um, what is this over here? A scorpion! Sub-Zero. Sonya. Mortal Kombat! Where am I going? Okay. I figured that would've... Let me check. Hold up. That's gotta be something, right? Huh. What is that over there? Is that a switch? Can I... 
Can I hit it with a shovel? No. Okay, well, let me get there. Can I get the beetle through there? I was gonna say, where is the beetle? I forgot I completely upgraded it. No, no way. Okay. Okay. I bet you I have to use that later, but... Good to know for now. Into the depths of the ship we go. Let's see what else I can find down here. I'm waiting for the time shift orb to show up. Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay, not gonna lie, they're kind of cute when they're all squealing like that. <laughs> and now I can kill you all. Ooh, choo choo jelly. No, get off of me, face hugger. No. Getting a lot of materials and rupees from this thing, to be honest. Ah! Oh, I need stamina though. I'm running out. Is that all? Or is there one more on the ceiling? Nah, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Killed the infestation. It was funny. I think like a week and a half ago, I was worried because um, I found a little a little bug in my room when I was unpacking a bunch of my boxes. I had like all my consoles and games and stuff in there, and I found like this bug crawling around. At first, I was like, "There's no way it's a cockroach." I'm like, "No, it wasn't a cockroach, thankfully." Um, but I looked it up, and apparently, it's an earwig. And there's some like ancient. I don't know if it's ancient myths or like I think it said it was like European or something. Where like. These, these earwigs will, they call them earwigs because they crawl into your ears when you sleep and like mess up your brain. And I was like, that's nice. Luckily they're myths, so we're all good. <laughs> but I was worried. I'm like, I hope it's not an infestation. Haven't found one since though, so I think I'm fine. Hopefully. No shit, Fi, it's sealed. You're right. It probably does lead to an important room, but I need to figure out where the time, uh, the time shift orb is before I can get there. Oh, I didn't even realize- okay, I just realized the statues inside the dungeons actually just bring you outside. That's cool. Instead of bringing you to the sky, that makes sense. But where? Ooh, there's a- that's a lot of chests. What the heck? I almost wonder if those are just for show and not actually supposed to be accessed, because, like... You know, like, I feel like, you know, like a treasure room on a ship. That's a lot of chests. I- maybe I can get there. Eventually. <gasps> Eventually. Ah! Holy crap, what was that? What was that? Oh, okay. Thank god, it's just keys. At first, I saw a Skulltula shadow, and I was freaking out. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, well. Not getting that five rupee. You got a few spiders in your basement. I think they're fine. They eat up all the gross bugs. That's true. I mean, that's it. spiders do eat a lot of bugs. That's, like, the one thing that I actually, like, will say that they're okay for, because, like... Otherwise, I mean, spiders kind of creep me out, I'm not going to lie. I have a bit of arachnophobia. Um, what is going on under there? Do I want to know? Get out of there! I don't like sand. It's rough and coarse, and everybody makes this joke. Um, any other scorpions I should know about? Meow. Oh, okay, this is, this is telling me how the pattern I actually got to use to hit that in the order. I hope they're not, like, big spiders, at least. I don't mind daddy long legs, to be honest. They're kind of chill. And, like, tiny, tiny spiders are fine, but I will say the, the the one thing I really like them for is that they eat all the flies. And, uh, yeah, because I, flies annoy the hell out of me. Like, when I was on my walk, like, my, I don't really want to call it a hike because it wasn't really an actual hike. But when I was on my walk earlier, like, just a few hours ago, like, so many mosquitoes and flies out there. And, like, you know, I love that, you know, spiders will actually eat them. Like, that's, like, what they're great for. But, like... Have you ever thought, like, are flies useful for anything? Or is mosquitoes? Mosquitoes just feast off of you. Do they do anything? Like, are they beneficial to the environment anyway? Because, like, if spiders are just eating them, that's great. They're covered. But, like, you know, I don't know. Like, flies are just stupid. Okay. So here's the thing. How do I tell? Oh, I see. The number of... It looks like the number of red things dictates the order is what it looks like maybe possibly but then again because hmm. if so it looks like i would do if that's the case i would do left right no that doesn't make sense well okay hold on the red thing's on top 
the red bar is on top. So I think what I actually might need to do is do the bottom one first. This is two, right? Yeah. Then the top. No, but that's bottom again. That doesn't make sense. And that would be right. Unless it's left, then right. At the very least, this looks like it should be bottom first. Right? Hold up. Because then that would be, but that would be the top. Maybe, I, I don't think I'm associating that right, but let me try it. I'm curious. Because if so, then it would be... That would be top, then bottom, and then right. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay, cool. I thought, because I remember there was a previous puzzle, I think it was in the Ancient Cistern, where, or it might have been the, um, the Skyview Temple instead, but each time you would hit one of, you can only hit each direction once, so that's why I was confused. It's like, why am I hitting the bottom twice? But okay. We're good. What is this? Is this a new item by any chance? No, it's okay. <laughs> We're too early in the dungeon. We're not that far in. I remember. I think some older Zelda games, if I remember correctly, like the, you'll you'll be able to tell by the type of chest that um that you see, like if it's gonna be. Oh, wow, that's in the room I can go in later. Um, let's get the time shift orb. But you'll be able to tell by the type of chest in some older Zelda games if it's like an item of significance or not, right? I'm thinking um. Ocarina of Time did that, where, you know, the, the really small chests had the keys, or rupees, and then you would have, like, the bigger normal chests, which had, uh, like, sp special items or pieces of heart or something. Um, so here's the thing. I can... Oh, no, that I can't even get in there, because that's the, that's the entrance to the boss. Okay. That is very important, Fi. Thank you for pointing that out to me before. Um... But yeah, in this game, it's like every chest is kind of the same, it seems like. Except for the goddess chest. Those are the only different chests, I think. I don't remember seeing any different ones, but I'm guessing I gotta go up. There's no way, there's nowhere else I can go. Was the, There must have been a locked door somewhere I couldn't get to before. Let me go check that out. Let's see what we got here. I like, I really like the concept of this dungeon. I'm not gonna lie, the environment's a little bland, but I think that's just because I don't have the time shift stone yet. I mean, the Laneber Mining Facility was also pretty much like that. Once I got the time shift stone, I was all good, though. This is still, that's totally gotta be used for something, but what? Oh, okay. It looks like there's a locked door at the top that hopefully I can get to. I couldn't do it, I, that fan really didn't do anything. Oh, I gotta make it past here again. Go, Link! Go, 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 go! We're good, okay. Take a breather. We're good. All good. Link has a lot of stamina when you think about it. Like, that stamina refills. Like, I mean, if I sprinted through quicksand like that, I would not be able to recharge in, like, a few seconds like that, you know? That's that's impressive when you think about it. It's even more impressive in uh, Breath of the Wild when you upgrade that thing. Like, that gets... You get a lot of stamina from that. Oh. I thought I already killed those guys. Huh. Okay, I guess they respawn. Does that mean some of the scorpions are going to respawn? Because I swear, if they do... I'm gonna flip. What's over there? Have I been down here? Oh yeah, no, I was down here before. I don't even know what was down there. I think it was just uh, enemies or something. But I think I have to head back up to the top. It looks like there is a locked door somewhere up there. Oh, right here, duh, okay. I know I, I probably don't have to save with a statue. I literally just, I'm, I'm paranoid about saving in games and I'm just like, I, I'm saving. I'm saving, I don't even care anymore. I'm just saving right here, okay. And we go. See, the one thing I'm a little disappointed by, I mean, the fact that uh, streaming twice a week is really going to free up some time for me, which will be good. Um, oh, is this the pirate guy? Oh, this is it. Captain Jack Sparrow. This is that fight. I thought he was the boss. He's not the boss. Whoa. Oh, geez. Okay. Yard, matey. 
So I literally just hit him back? Wow, he's literally... Wow. He's kind of a pussy, isn't he? I'm just... I'm, I'm barely doing anything. Oh, he's parrying. Oh! Ah! Step. There we go. I gotta stab him. Fuck! I'm gonna poke you, laddie! Get off the bridge! Walk the plank! Oh. What is this music? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. Ah! Oh, no. That's not good. Gotta watch his attacks when he does that move. Go, go. Keep going, like... Go, like... Go, go. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, oh, I gotta... I, he does the two pokes. That's really bad. No. I'm gonna... Come on. I'm gonna stab you. Go. Poke him up. Get him. Oh. I took out his sword. He's the guy... Hey, it's the guy in all the bottles. Oh, what? Captain Morgan? <laughs> Is this what happened to Captain Morgan? Wow, he ain't looking so good, isn't he? Is he? I gotta watch out for his hook. That's totally what he's gonna attack me with now. Walk the blank, matey! Bye bye So is that like the captain? Cool, okay. Something tells me that's gonna be an actual item. Like a legit item. <laughs> It's just five rubies. There's a 99% chance that was... Wait, so literally, this pirate that our friend Skipper over here was terrified of and never wanted to see again, Link just literally destroyed with, like, some little jabs of a, of a stick. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the tenacity... <laughs> he had it displayed and staying alive and functional all these years. That's true, actually. Fi brings up a good point because most of the other robots in the Lenebra area are completely dead. They're wiped out. So the fact that that guy, that's true. Must have been something special about him. I mean, he was the captain after all. Hey, the bone arrow. There we go. I was going to say, I thought it was in this game. Is that the final item? There we go. Now it's a Zelda game. A report about the bow. You will shoot an arrow. You just gotta be good at it. I'm not good at archery. I think I tr well, I haven't tried in years, but like, I'm pretty sure when I was still in uh in Cub Scouts, um, I tried archery at one. We had like a little activity fair, and I tried archery at one point. I was so bad. I'm sure I'd be okay now that I actually have like some muscle built up, but like, I'm probably still wouldn't be great. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't be good. It can propel arrows through the air with great force. Oh, yeah. Okay. Raise your bow by pressing ZR and then press right on the... What? Right. Strike certain devices. Right. Oh, that's what those things are. Those are essentially they're the eyes that you would shoot in normal cell. Okay. Interesting. Okay. It'd be difficult to target from here. I gotta get up to the top floor somehow. Right, so what does this do? Oh, that just tells you controls. Okay. Interesting, okay. Let me try this out. What does it say? Yeah, tilt the Joy-Con. Yeah, and then I just hold... Okay, I can hold for a more powerful shot. And then the... L oh, there's a charge shot, too. Okay, hold up. Press L and then draw back. Oh, okay. Ah! Okay, hold on. I gotta keep it pointed, though. Oh, draw back with the left Joy-Con. Okay. How do I get out of it? Okay. Okay. You're great at shooting. Video games count, right? Oh, yeah. No, video games 100% count. <laughs> I'm not good at shooting in video games either. <laughs> are you talking archery? Or are we also talking uh, first-person shooters? Are we counting that? I like to think I'm okay at Doom, but that's about it. Most first-person shooters, I am garbage. I am absolute trash when it comes to F uh, FPSs. But bow and arrows is probably okay. We'll find out soon, I'm sure. Okay, so... The thing is, there was a switch farther down that I'm wondering if I can... I can probably get to that now. I kind of want to go back and check that out. Because, I mean, it's probably just like an optional chest or something, but I want to check it out. Why is it so zoomed out? Okay, that was weird. I must have zoomed out by accident at one point. Yeah, these keys respawn. That's interesting. 
So now I'm wondering what the... Oh, what? no, not up the wall, thank you. What the actual dungeon boss is going to be. I'm wondering if it's the weird tentacle monster that I'm thinking of. But I thought that was an actual, like, stormy area. Although, with a time shift orb, that would probably uh, actually make that appear. Nice, okay. So I'm guessing that's the last, um, it's gotta be the last item in, uh, in the game, right? Because I have, uh, my whole item inventory is full now, it seems like. Yeah, okay, here it is. This is what I was looking for. I don't, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Okay, let me, yeah, let me definitely recalibrate that. Can I shoot it from here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, what does that do? Ooh, okay. Cool. Definitely want to check this out while I'm here. Interesting. Okay, there's a switch. Oh, peace. Hello, friends. Honestly, I've always thought bats were pretty cool. No, no, do that. Thank you. <laughs> I literally let them shock me three times in a row. That's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's see what this does. It's a fan. Okay, there's another fan. What does the switch do, then? Oh, I gotta shoot it from here, huh? I probably have to move the fan out of the way, though, don't I? Or, uh, actually, let me see if I can make it from here. Oh, I can make it. Yeah! We're all good. Cool, now the question is, how do I get over there? Is there a way for me to get over there, actually? Oh, no, no, I see. That's just the door. Okay, that's the other door in this hallway. My bad. Okay. I was thinking that led somewhere else. No, okay. There we go. I'm waiting for that time shift orb. Gotta spice things up a little, you know? Oh. At first I thought he was gonna climb through the wall. I was so confused. What is this? I'm guessing I gotta stab my sword in there, huh? Let's try it. What? Oh, come on. Really? I figured that would have been something I... Oh, do I need... I probably need the orb here, honestly, to get that, don't I? Because it's just... I can't do anything about it now. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I need the time shift orb to get that. Which I think... I think I just have to go back to the deck like Fi said. I just wanted to see what this little area was. But I mean, I mean good to know, I guess, for now. Because that generator right there, I mean, I probably have to activate it with the time shift orb, and that's going to do something. Something important, I'm sure. Okay. So, yeah, let me just go back up. Are the keys back? No, okay, now they're not. Okay. Maybe just going out to the deck before to fight the pirate guy. That's probably... I probably counted it as, like, leaving the area, and then I came back in and it respawned those keys. But I think I just need to head back out. Is that just out here? Yeah, okay. Let me see. What can I do now? Oh, there's a target up here. Okay, cool. That's a good start. Just maybe. I wonder if once you upgrade... Oh, there's... Oh. Is there only one singular time shift zone that powers the whole shit, maybe? That is a time shift zone, you're right. Deliver an impact. Um, I could shoot it. I could hit it with a shovel. Can I shoot it from here? Otherwise, I was going to say I'll use the beetle, but I don't know if I can... I can make it from here. Wait. Oh, I was going to say, do arrows not actually work against them? But no, okay, there we go. So it powers the whole ship, okay. Oh. Oh. Now things are getting interesting. Is it going to move around now, too? Uh-oh. Now I can't get to it again. It is closed off. Uh-oh. Now it's interesting. Okay, now we're talking. These guys are a joke now, because I upgraded my uh, my sword with the, sac the last sacred flame I got in the, uh, the ancient cistern, so they, they don't stand a chance. Bye-bye. Okay. That's... That's blocked off. I can't go in here now, right? No. Okay. 
I just gotta climb up to the deck over there. I gotta get to that ladder up there. Time to kill all the pirates. You know, this is kind of funny, actually, because Link kind of looks like Peter Pan. Hey, get over here. You're done. No more. Don't call reinforcements. I don't think so. Link kind of looks like Peter Pan, and, like, being on the pirate ship, it's, it's essentially Peter Pan is what's going on here. Where's the alligator? The alligator is the pirate stronghold when it opened its jaws like that. That's what that was. Release the boat! Oh, does it go down to some air? That's cool. Okay. I see what it's doing. I see what you're doing, Nintendo. It's clever. You're clever. Okay. Um, can I go anywhere else? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a locked door. So, no. I need a key first. He's probably down here, if I had to guess. Ah! What is this? Oh, no. It doesn't do anything. Uh... Wait, what? Hold up. Really? What the hell was the point of that? I can't get over there from here, right? What is this supposed to be? I figured it was like a little hatch or a, a block I can push or something, but what the heck? Okay. I guess I can't do anything there? Unless, do I have an item that I can use here? With the good. Oh, that was, I'm not doing that again. I don't think I could do anything there. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. Back up. There's gotta be something I missed. I mean, there's also that little area down there, but I doubt I can get there from here. That was just weird, though. Let me see if there's something else I can do, because otherwise I have no idea what to do over there. I can shoot those guys. That'll do something. I see you. Headshot. Barely. I almost, I actually almost messed that up. You can't do anything. You're just waiting for me to shoot you in the face. Bye bye. Oh, there's a ladder there too. What the heck? I didn't even realize. Oh, what the heck was that? Who's shooting at me? Is another archer? There's got to be another archer somewhere. Where is? Where is he? Is he up there? I don't see him. I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I will find you, and I will kill you. Okay. Well, let me at least... I think I can get up this ladder. There's another ladder over there. Okay. I can probably climb up to the top of the mast this way. There's got to be something up here. Right? You think. Oh, there's more people. Hello, friends. Too bad you're dead. Ah! No! Okay, I really need to recalibrate. What? Oh, I can, kick his, I can take his arrows. That's good. That's good. You missed, buddy. Bye. Okay. Where does arrow go? Oh, I was gonna collect it. Okay, never mind. All right. Honestly, I feel like I need to replace these Joy-Con at some point. Um, especially because I don't know. Actually, let me see if you can see it. This light or this Joy-Con. The lights are literally out. Like, this is... this It's working. It's connected. You know, and this light's obviously, you know, working fine. You can see that light there. This light... This is working. This Joy-Con works. But the lights are just out now. This just happened, like, the other day. Um, to be honest, at some point, I probably gotta replace these. Oof, how did I make that? Okay. Any other guys that are missing over here that I can shoot? Oh, yeah, there's another guy. Goodbye. How did I hit him? Down he goes. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. I've got a couple switches over here, actually, that I could do. Let me see. I wonder what it does. Not gonna lie, sometimes aiming it's a little uh, difficult, but... Oh, there was another guy at the end of this? I didn't even see this guy, like, ever. You can get it. It's okay. It's okay. You can... Want to take a dive? Want to go for a swim? Wanna go for a swim, buddy? Down you go! <laughs> Look at him. He enjoyed that, I think. Cool, okay, so this just lets me go over here. Is there anything over here? Or is this just a kind of... Oh, okay, I see. Now I can go over that way. Getting to the top of the ship here! Oh, I see there's a guy there, too. I don't want to waste my arrows. I want to make sure I get enough. 
because I am running a little low. Your right Joy-Con stopped working a year ago. Been using the Pro Controller ever since. It's not bad for most games. You know, I've... No! 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 I gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> I got distracted. Okay. Um, won't be too much longer to get up. I just gotta use up a couple more arrows now. Um, yeah, so I've heard the Pro Controller is actually pretty good. Um... To be honest, I just never really... I, I considered investing in a Pro Controller at one point, but I also... Part of me kind of likes using the Joy-Con. I know the thumbsticks are pretty bad and they wear out over time. Um, but, like, I don't know. I just... I like... Especially for a game like this, I like using them. You know? For, like, the actual controls. And I, I'm kind of a heathen and I like playing with Joy-Con separately. Like, for most games. Which I know is really weird, but it's kind of what I do. Um, for the Switch specifically. I gotta be careful and not do that again this time. Um, nope, Link, don't, don't you dare do the thumbstick thing that where it drifts on me, I swear. And just walk right off the sail, off the mast there. Oh, hello, friend. I see you also enjoy the pirate things. There we go. Oh, okay, so does this essentially let me... Oh, I can get up there now, too. Okay, cool. Um... The biggest, the biggest pro is that the charge lasts entire days. Wow. Yeah, the Joy-Con definitely don't last that long, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna turn it this way, I think. Oh, cool. Okay, so that'll just at least allow me to access the... Uh, yeah, and I can get back down there now. Cool. Good job, Skippa. Oh, how did you get here? You're cool. Just like I used to. Gotta rescue his crew. Okay, they're being held in the brig. Did I see the brig before? I don't think I did. Oh, okay. Right in there. It's on the second floor. Okay, or the second basement floor. So, pretty dangerous. Yeah, you wait over wait over there. How are you going to get out? You're kind of being blocked there with the electric uh, electric fence right there. But okay, if you say so. Cool. Okay, so that'll at least allow me to get back under there. And yeah, now I can access the time stone if I need to as well. I'm going to go over here. Because there might be something over here. But yeah, I mean, that's great. Entire days. That is a long charge. That's awesome. I considered getting one, but I just, I never did. I didn't feel like spending the extra money. I've been using these Joy-Con for the last three years, and like, they've had their issues, and um, they've definitely like, um, why do you need to use the claw shot here? Just because it's cool? I don't know. Because I could just literally jump down and glide. Or, oh, I guess if you want to get up here, is there a claw shot? No, there's not. Huh. I don't know what the point is then. Off we go! Woo! Oh, there's something down there for sure. Oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to actually go there for. Okay. And there's gotta be something behind there then. Okay, cool. Let me try that. Um, yeah, I've just been using the Joy-Con all this time. Like I said, I honestly like the form factor of it and like... What? Okay. That was weird. The fence got in the way. Ooh, what is this? I'm guessing just either a good material or... Yay! Okay, that's awesome. Piece of heart. I was not expecting that. Zelda doesn't usually do pieces of heart in dungeons, right? From what I remember, I don't think usually. That's... Okay, that's interesting. I mean, luckily it wasn't too difficult to find, but like... Interesting, okay. Play some music for me, Link. There we go. Alright, Sid. I'm gonna try to actually draw the heart this time. I got you. You ready? Ready? I'm gonna draw a legit heart this time. Calibrate. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the maximum number of items, though. <laughs> it's the it's the right side I messed up on. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame the controls for that one. That that wasn't me. I swear I can draw normal hearts. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was probably me. Um, oh, I still, I love the dual claw shot. Ever since Twilight Princess brought it in, I love that you, you can just kind of climb around like Spider-Man. I just absolutely love it. This is Marvel, this is actually Marvel Spider-Man right here, don't you know? Okay, so now... Okay, so what was up with the... Hmm, you know what I'm wondering... Wait, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm trying to figure out what the hell this is. Like, what this does. 
right? Because I tried this before, and, like, it didn't... I thought it was, like, a little door or something, but it doesn't... It's not activated. My other thought was, okay, maybe if I deactivate the time shift stone, something will happen, but... And I can't jump down there. There's an opening there, too. I wonder... Can I... Hold up. I have an idea. This might actually... Not end well, I'm not sure, but... I'm glad... I'm... Oh, it doesn't last long at all. Okay. I'm not gonna make it. No. Okay. I, I was wondering if I could get the time shift zone from here, but I don't think I can. So I just genuinely don't know what that's supposed to do. But... Ghost pillows? No. I don't know. Is there any way I can get down there? Hmm. I don't know, it's a little weird. Okay. Maybe there's something... Maybe I have to be inside the ship in order to get up there. Maybe this is a way I'm supposed to get back up to the ship from inside. That's what I'm guessing then, because otherwise I have no idea. Or I'm just missing something completely. Maybe it's obvious. I don't know. That tends to be me with uh, streaming this game. <laughs> I'll just miss something super obvious. I swear it's like the streamer's curse kind of thing, where, like, if you've, like, heard other streamers talk about it, where it's literally, when you're streaming a game, it's... I think it's because you're paying attention to, like, the chat and just the quality of the stream, as well as, like, you know, talking to, like, provide some... So it's not just dead silent. I mean, I could just be dead silent during this, but I don't think that would be as interesting, to be honest. Um, but then also playing the game at the same time, it's it's tough to keep track of everything. Um, what is in this door? Oh, that's the outside area. Okay, I don't need to go back there. Don't need to be there. Look at how nice this ship looks now. See, now we're talking. Now this is interesting. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. That symbol looks familiar. That was the same symbol in, uh... Anything show up over here? I'm gonna guess no. No, okay. That looked like the same symbol outside of the ancient cistern gate area. I don't know if it's supposed to be Nehru symbol or, or or what, but... Okay. What else we got? What's gonna happen now? We got Bacoblins running around too? Oh yeah, we got the electric ones. These guys are scary. I'm literally just gonna... I said I was gonna wait. Get out of here. I'm done with you. Get out of here. Oh, no more quicksand. Thank God. There we go. I don't know how I actually hit him that time. I was expecting to get electrocuted. But, all good. We got arrows now, too, which is great. Oh! Huh! Oh, right. I forgot this was just blocked off by that barbed wire earlier. I thought it was, like, an actual, like, gate blocking it, but a cool. What's up, Fi? What do you want? Look up. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have realized that without that help. Thank you, Fi. <laughs> Another example of them trying to uh, help the player out in this game, I guess. Okay, so where is it exactly? Huh, there it is. Shoot it through the grate. Perfect. There we go. I honestly like that this game factors that in. They did that with the beetle too, I think. Was, no, 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 it wasn't the Beatles, it was the Whip. Um, they factored that in in a previous... It might have been... It must have been the Ancient Cistern. I think they did it with the Slingshot too, actually, early on. Yay, Dungeon Map. Nice, nice, nice. That's what we'd like to see. Now I can actually see how much stuff I have left. Okay, there's a whole other area on the top of the ship that I haven't been to. Interesting. Um... Or, wait. No, 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 okay, okay, this is just the outside area. Right, okay. And there's a locked... There's a locked door there. Was That wasn't where... The dungeon entrance was, was it? No, well, that's the Sacred Flames. That's gotta be where it is. That's what that is, okay. I've barely been on the third floor. Interesting, okay. I gotta figure out how to actually do that, uh... That locked door out there. At the, to uh, the, the top of the ship. I didn't realize I was there before. Okay. Well, I am going to... I might as well, right? Bring this back. Um, I like the colors on the ship, so I'm going to bring this guy back. I don't know how I hit that. <laughs> I thought that was not making it. 
they must be pretty uh, lenient with, you know, like being able to actually shoot through the bars. Honestly, I, don't, I wonder if there's even any hit detection on those bars. They probably just disabled it completely so that you can actually have a good chance of, you know, actually hitting the arrow through there. Um, cool. Okay. Well, now... Still can't get in those doors. Fairies in previous games. Hey, listen. Gives vague poem for hint. Yeah. <laughs> Fives, like, just look it up. <laughs> You're right, though. That's funny. That's literally what it is. Yeah, like, I'm, like, the great fairies in previous games or even, like, um, Navi or Tattle. They're pretty much like that. Yeah, and, and Fives just, Link, look up. Oh, thanks, Five. Thanks for solving the puzzle for me. Wait, is this not... Can I... Oh, I can... Can I use it now? I can. Okay. It looks like I'm supposed to... Oh, just tilt it that way. Okay. What does it do? Oh. That looks scary. But it turned something on. That was that generator I was looking at earlier. Very strong vibrations. <laughs> Feel the vibrations. Boom, 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 boom. Signs indicate that activating this mechanism costs something right to begin moving. Hurrying to the crew in the brig. Yeah, I mean, that's what I gotta do. I do need to free them. But that moved something. That's probably something in the basement. Like, farther down in the basement area, I gotta go check out. I can't get into those doors yet. Oh, I can in this one, actually. Interesting. What's even in here? Oh, this was that other room I didn't explore yet. Okay. What? I definitely am down. What? I swear sometimes I, like, don't... There we go. Oh. You're done. Get out of here. You can stop electrocuting me. Thank you. Okay. This game really has the simplest block pushing puzzles, puzzles I will say. Compared to, like, I'm thinking of, like, Twilight Princess. Got kind of crazy with some of its, uh block pushing puzzles especially i remember in the ice dungeon i forget oh there we go that unlocks the oh now i can use that cool okay so that kind of opens up those shafts right there um but i remember i think it was the this the ice dungeon in twilight princess oh interesting okay so this okay this brings me out here and now what I can do is actually... Oh. This is super weird. Okay. This is very... Where, where am I? I'm just in the ship somehow. Okay, cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of... Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, actually. Um, actually, I probably should have gone back out to the top of the, uh, the ship, to be honest. I don't think I can get it. Was I... Hold up. I'll just wait till later, honestly, because I gotta, yeah, I gotta get to the, the brig and free the crewmates. But I think this is where those, those, um, those things were moving. Can I not? Um, hmm, can I not actually get anywhere here? I see there's some grates over there, but that's about it. I can't do anything from here, can I? I can't get in there. Oh, can I, can I reach with the whip? Maybe? No. I tried. Okay, it doesn't even look like I can actually get anywhere from here, to be honest. There's, like, nothing down there. Hmm. Okay. However, I think by act using that ship, uh, the little, uh, the kind of rescue boat kind of thing. I know it's not a rescue boat, but that's what it reminds me of. On the side over there... I gotta go all the way back around, but I think I should be able to access that same room through another passageway by getting over there, because now that I've opened that area. Right, because I can still head back here. Okay. Okay, we're figuring it out. We're only at 8.50 Eastern. Wow. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a little longer than usual, but that's what happens when uh start the dungeon kind of late. I want to kill these guys too while I'm here. You know what? Let me kill these guys. They're annoying me. You're pissing me off just by your existence. Get out of here. Ah! Hey, you cheeky little nugget. Give me your heart. <laughs> Give me your soul. What did this do again? Okay, just raise that little thing over there. Okay, that makes sense. Let me check. I'm kind of curious, honestly, to see what the that other floor of the basement looks like now. Like, if something activated down there. 
Hopefully no scorpions now that, you know, we're technically in the past. Hopefully not. I don't know. Then again, the Bacomans are probably going to respawn. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. Oh, right, okay. Oh, the Bemos rats. The Bemos is here. But this is where the boss entrance is. Okay. That I gotta remember. I'm liking this dungeon so far. It's good. It is a good dungeon. Honestly, I don't think it's as good as the Ancient Cistern so far. But then again, I haven't really gone very far. So, that could easily change. But if if I'm thinking correctly, I think the... um My guess is that the boss is gonna be that weird, like tentacle monster thing, and I've heard that boss is, like, super easy, so I'm not expecting too much of a challenge there. Ooh, is there a chest in there now? Or did I get that? No, okay, I opened that chest before, but what's in here now, actually? I'm curious. Did anything change in here? Wah! Oh, I don't like that. Don't! Oh my goodness. Okay. See, this is, this is what sucks about having two of these guys right over here. Hey, you can, you can not. Oh my goodness. Can you just, like, heal over already? Get out of here. Okay, now we're just down to leave. So much for dodging. Okay. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. You guys are done. Stay here. Okay, that just leads to there. Oh, that's, oh, this is the brig? The sparky thing blocks the exit, right. And I can't, if I disable the time shift stone, that turns them off too. That's the engine room, okay. I gotta go through the engine room to get to them. That's what I gotta do. Right. To activate the two power generators in the engine room. Okay. Oh, right, I already turned one of them on. There are two power generators, okay. Oh, they're marking it on my map, cool. <laughs> okay, that saves me some time. The last power generator is there. Oh, did I miss a room or something before? I think I missed a room, I think I was supposed to go in there. I feel like I passed by that area before. That's what I'm supposed to do, okay. I think Link's, Link's leg literally just clicked through the floor there, okay. I understand this game is not perfect by any means, but. Okay, I don't think I can do anything here now. Not yet, at least. So that's the brig. Right, the other engine was up on that floor, they said. So I need to get up there. I need to wake up, get up, and get out there. And figure out where that second generator is. And then I should be able to access the engine room, hopefully. I kind of want to check out what's up by that uh, the little rescue ship now, too. Because I think that opened that corridor that I was trying to get into before. And I had no idea how to get to it. But I think I can get over there now, so I don't know what's up there. I kind of want to check that out. Up we go. It was funny, so we, uh, I had some friends over from out of, uh, out of town this past weekend. And, like, we were talking about, um, my roommate really wants to host, like, oh, I can't even get in there yet, that's why. Let me check here. Can I get in there from here? Um, he really wants to host a Halloween party, so we're trying to get everybody in. We're kind of planning everybody to get in there. So we're all thinking of costumes and stuff that we can do. Um, I don't even know. Some people said they have theirs picked out, but I don't know what they have picked out yet. I, yeah, I cannot even get in there. Um, I can't hit the time shift zone from here, right? There's no grate in here. There is out there, though. So if I got in there already somehow, I could do it. There's got to be another way to open that door, I think. I can't, and I can't wait. Unless, no. I can't, I can't see the, the stone from here. Um, yeah, so we're trying to figure out different costumes to wear and stuff. See, I really, I've always wanted to do, I've never, like, been into cosplay or anything really much, to be honest. Um, but if I did, like, I really, at some point, wanted to do, like, a Travis touchdown costume from No More Heroes. Because I feel like it's kind of already, like, my quote-unquote style. I don't have style. Um, as it is, but, like, you know, so I've always kind of been uh, tempted to do that. But at the same time, it's, like, 
nobody, none of my other friends really, I, I mean, especially because No More Heroes is fairly, it's, it's not a well-known game at all. Um, I think, I mean, I think No More Heroes 3 is getting No More Heroes some more attention. I want to see if turning this off does anything. Um, but, like, n most people, most, you know, most, like, casual gamers won't know No More Heroes, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm also like, well, is it, would it even be worth it if nobody's going to know who this is? Um, okay, so that just straight up shuts off the door there, too. Yeah, okay, that really, that doesn't do anything. I was wondering if that was going to open that gate right there, but it does not look like it. Okay. My second option is try that other area out, because I cannot, um, I don't know how to get to that other generator in there. But let me, there is another area. I gotta go back out to the deck to that other rescue ship out there. And hopefully, that can get me to that generator. Somehow. That's what I'm thinking. But, so I'm still, I'm still trying to decide what costume I want to do. Part of me is also wanting to do, like, beat from Jet Set Radio. If you can tell by the poster back there. Um... But then again, no, not a lot of people know Jet Set Radio, so it's like, ugh, we'll see. We're probably gonna end up doing, like, Marvel costumes or something kind of generic like that, which, like, I feel like... I feel like I could be a pretty good Star-Lord. And I don't want to be Hawkeye, because it's kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry, Hawkeye. Um, but I don't know. We gotta, I gotta figure out what I even want to do for that. Because, like, I kind of want to make the costume, too, you know what I mean? I don't want to really buy, like, a pre-made costume. I've always been, like... If I'm if I'm going to go all out, you got to go all out, you know what I mean? Like, we used to have, like, these, uh... Like, for homecoming week, we'd have at high school, you know, we'd have, like, actual... Oh, great, they respawn. Beautiful! You came back from the dead, huh? Get out of here. Um... Might as well kill this guy while I'm at it. They really do sound like a combination of Tuscan Raiders and Jawas, to be honest. Um, but anyways, yeah, like, during Homecoming Week, we'd have, like, you know, days during the week where you, like, dress up in costumes and stuff. Hey! Shut it! You're done! You ain't blowing on that horn no more. You're dead. Um, I should be able to do this now, though. Let me try this out. The only other thing I'm wondering is if this just kind of lets me get out of the engine room once I'm done with it. And if that's the case, then I have no idea what I'm supposed to do next. Um, but yeah, when I would dress up for the... I would, like, make... I would actually make costumes for a lot of the homecoming stuff. I remember... I'm trying to think. I made... I made a Bender costume. Oh! Oh! Wait! That literally just wasted so much time right there. Are you serious? That was literally just brought me back around. Okay, okay. Um, I need to get in that generator room somehow. And I gotta do it. That switch opens that door. I gotta figure out how to disable. So I gotta turn off the time shift zone. But I still need to get out. Oh, you know what? Hold up. Okay, I didn't need the time shift stone on, did I? Right, okay. I didn't need it on. And there's a grate above the ceiling. Okay, I need to turn it off and then go back down there. Yeah, Sid, Sid, I just wasted a solid 10 minutes, but, you know, it's Zelda. What are you going to do? Um, <laughs> but I got. I think I got it now. I think I figured it out. Um, sometimes it just takes a little bit of thinking. I actually thought for once. Jeez. Um, but yeah, going back to the costumes, like, for Homecoming Week and stuff, I would literally, like... This is still active, right? Yes, okay, good. I was, at first I was wondering if this was only accessible with the time shift stone activated, but fortunately it's here, and this is what I need to do. Um, I, I made, if you've ever seen the show Futurama, I literally made like a Bender costume. Um, and it was, honestly, the helmet, the head came out really good. Like it was a, literally a helmet that went over my head and it had the antenna and everything. It actually came out really good. I took a picture of it because before I had to trash it because it just got too like gross and kind of crappy. Um, there we go. Now I got it. But, you know, it, it was honestly came out really good. I even had... It, the, the body wasn't as good, but I made the body and it had, like, a little, like... It was made of cardboard. It had, like, a door that you could literally open. I don't... I put too much effort into that costume. That was a really good costume. Um, for some other ones, like, I think I dressed up as Bane from Dark Knight Rises, even though it's literally the stupidest version of Bane ever. I thought it was funny, though. I literally... I think I, I, think I still have the Bane mask somewhere. Um... I'm pretty sure I did Batman at one point. I definitely did Iron Man. Um, 
I'm trying to do, I'm trying to remember other costumes I have. I still have some of those pieces left over, so in theory I could like do one of those costumes again, but I don't know. I gotta figure something fun out. The thing is, part of me. Okay, so now that's open, so I can go back there and get in there now, which is good. Um, like, as much as I want to do like Travis Touchdown or like Beat from Jet Set Radio, it's also like I kind of don't. Um, I want to actually want to go this way. Um, actually, I'm trying to think. Mm, do I want to go that way? No, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm pretty sure the entrance to the engine room was down here, right? Uh, oh, no, sorry, it's in the other room. I'm getting it mixed up with the room right next to, uh, next to here, but... Um, the thing with, like, doing some of those other costumes is, like, nobody would know it, so, like, I don't know if there's really any point in making them, to be honest, so, like... I don't know, I'll probably, like I said, just end up doing a Marvel character, or Star Wars, or something generic. I don't know. We'll see. No, not that those are generic, but, you know, like... I feel like they're not as interesting. The other thing I gotta figure out is if we're all, like, matching costumes, or if we're just kind of doing our own thing. We'll have to see, but... I've never, I've never been huge on Halloween, to be honest. I mean, when I was a kid, like, I loved, you know, getting candy. I mean, that's really why I liked it. It was for, all for the candy. Um, now it's like, I mean, like, Halloween parties. I've never been a big partier as it is. Um, I don't know if I like this area. This is scary. I just gotta run through here, huh? Yeah, okay. That was a little scary. I'm sure it's gonna get more difficult, but... I've never been a big partier, so, like, with Halloween parties and stuff, I don't know, I've just never been... That's a hook, right? I've never been huge on that. Um, I think what I want to do is, like, swing over here and not hit that wall. There we go. No! Oh, Link, buddy. Link, come on, man, you had that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like... I enjoyed, like, you know, when I when I got older, you know, and I was, like, you know, too old for trick-or-treating. Not that you're ever too old for trick-or-treating. Like, I enjoyed giving, giving out candy to kids and seeing what kind of costumes they had. But, like, besides that, it's, like, I mean, I think now, I think I'm just too old. I, I, even though I'm not, I'm actually not that old. I'm only 24. Um, I think for me, like, now I just enjoy the, the fall vibe more so than Halloween specifically, where it's just, like, you know, getting all cozy with some, like, apple cider or pumpkins. I'm not big into pumpkin spice, but, like, stuff like that. Like, that's the vibe that I like more so than just Halloween. I also don't like being scared, so there's that, too. The only thing I ever cosplayed as was Triumphant West from the video game Don't Starve for a Halloween party. Oh, I've actually... So, I've heard of Don't Starve, but I've never actually, um... played it. Is it the main guy? Is it the main guy with, like, the horns or whatever? Because I think I've seen artwork of that before. Um... Otherwise, yeah, I don't, I don't know what costume it is, but... That sounds fun. If you, if you if you have the right group of people, like if if I was you know going to a Halloween party with like a group of people that like actually knew like some of like the more obscure games, like if they knew No More Heroes, I'd be like hell yeah, I'm going as Travis. You know what I mean? But like these people, they don't they barely know any games as it is. My my friends from college, so like at least it's it's the wrong group for that kind of uh, costume. So I'm just wondering if I should go with something else at that point. But we'll see. Maybe I'll just do it for the hell of it, because I've always wanted to do, like, a Travis touchdown costume. The only thing I'd have to figure out is the hair. I mean, I, I can grow out my hair, but then I'd have to, like, gel it up and spike it, and then also, like, make it black. <laughs> and that might not go well, so I don't know. Run, Link, run, Link, run! Okay, so now... Oh, I have to go on top of those guys, don't I? There we go. Ah! That was about to crush me. I think. Run out! Okay. I thought that was going to crush me. I was so scared for a second. Cool. Okay. But I think that's it there. And now I should be able to get into the brig. Hopefully, this leads to the brig. Personally, you find it more fun to hand out candy during Halloween. I'm the cool house that gives out the whole candy bar. Is nice. Yeah. Exactly. Like, that's like having the, the good the good bags of candy you know there's like certain the stores will have like the certain like good combos of candy like usually 
what my parents and I would do is, like, you know, get, like, the variety packs. But they don't come with everything, right? They usually come with, like, maybe, like, four or five types. So you gotta get the ones with the, the right type, so... Personally, I always loved, like, the, the more fruity candy rather than the chocolate myself, so I would get, like, the Lifesaver gummies ones. Any of them that have the Lifesaver gummies, those are the good ones, but sometimes they'd have a mix, too. Like, you get Skittles, and then maybe you get, like, um, Twix or something like that as well with it, too. Those are good combos. Those are good. Any that have candy corn? Nah, I'm not a candy corn guy myself. I don't know if, if any of you are, but it's, uh... It's okay. It could be worse. It could be raisins. I mean, if you give out raisins, like, yeah, you're being healthy, but, like, you're going out for candy. You're not going for raisins. <laughs> if they're yogurt-covered raisins, that's different. That actually is acceptable, I think. Because yogurt-covered raisins are pretty good, and they're almost like candy. <laughs> you really came to save us. I did, of course. I'm gonna find Nehru's flame. I'm gonna have to regain control of the ship. I thought I already did. The control room is next to the brig. Right, I already went in there, didn't I? Oh, no, they're talking about, okay, the actual, where the, okay, the dungeon is. So I need to go to the captain's cabin, that's where the key is, okay. Nice, okay, now I can get to the captain's cabin. Ooh. I'm making solid time, it's not too bad right now. I just passed the two hour mark, so we're good. You get to the captain's cabin through a door on the deck in the back. Right, that's that last locked door here, that's where I gotta go, okay. Yeah, you guys might want to get out of here. That engine room is scary and making everything shake around like that. We're counting on you. What do you mean leaving me on Earth? Like, we can go. That's one of the first ro- All of these robots are nice to me. It's weird. Like, all the other robots were mean. There was t there was more than one robot. What the hell happened? There's no easy way out of here. Huh? I gotta go all- Wait. No, okay, I'm good. I can go through. At first I was like, do I have to do the engine room all over again? But no, I unlocked this gate over here so I can at least get out that way. There was more than one robot. Where'd the other ones go? I only saw the one leaf. <laughs> but okay, now if I get back to the deck, I should be able to get that the key to get to the boss. I assume it's gonna be the the tentacle monster, which I've heard is like a really easy boss fight and like not that good, so I'm not expecting much. Definitely should not expect anything on the level of Kalakdos and the Ancient Sister, and I think that was the peak. But we'll see. Who knows? I could be wrong. It might not be that boss. Like, this is my first time playing, so I have no idea. Okay, so now... Now I can use that ship right there to actually get up to the deck. Did I miss any chests or anything? I think I've opened pretty much every single chest now. Looking good! Why does this keep respawning here? I'm just getting, like, free... Is it amber? Is that what that is? It reminds me of, like, the... Or one of the fossils from, like, uh... Like, Gen 1 Pokemon. You know, like, the Helix or, uh... What is the Helix fossil and the other one? What's the other one? I forget what the other one's called. But the two fossils that you get, you get either a Kabuto or a Omanyte. Bye-bye! You're done. Oh, here it is. Right here, the captain's cabin. Okay, here we go. This is where the key should be. For a second, there's probably going to be a mini-boss in here if I had to guess, right? If I had to guess. Or did the pirate count as the mini-boss, I guess. Right there. It's where it is. There's the BMOs. Okay. So maybe not a mini-boss. I just got to get out, uh, into that room over there. Not too bad. Like I said, it's a little, it'll be a little, a little over, but... I mean, I wasn't going to cut it off early, like an hour early, and then just not do this dungeon. Like, of course I'm going to take the time to do it, but I think... Hmm. I need to turn off the time shift zone first, huh? There's no way to... There's no grate at the top of the ceiling. I just gotta turn it off first and then go in there. Really making me exit and come back in. This game. Bye! No reinforcements for you! I could probably save arrows by not using... Or, yeah, I could probably save arrows by using the beetle instead there, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, hopefully this should allow me to get into that room, actually. And then I can... There, I did see there was a, a hole in the, or a, a vent in the ceiling I could shoot through to reactivate that stuff in there. Um, oh, there's totally scorpions in here. Nah, there's uh, 20 rupees. That's nice. I'm surprised. Okay, never mind. No scorpions. I am genuinely surprised. 
Oh, never mind. I lied. Here they are. Hello, my friends. <laughs> this ain't No More Heroes, where like you're trying to like pick up this. No More Heroes is so weird. Like I, I genuinely did consider getting No More Heroes three at launch, but like, it to me, on like personally, it's not worth sixty dollars. Um. Oh, okay. I need to. I see what I need to do. I need to yeah activate the time shift zone now. Um, that's just to me personally, like, I mean, I, I really enjoy the No More Heroes games. It's not that I don't enjoy them, it's just, like, No More Heroes 3, just, it, I didn't want to spend $60 on it right now. To be honest, with the Walmart deal, the 50's tempting. Oh god, this is gonna get bad. Stop it! Shit. This is not gonna make this easy. Stop, literally. Hey, guess what, literally. Stop it! Oh my god, this electric guy right here. If I can take one of these guys out. No. Poke him, poke him. There we go. Jeez. Get out of here. It's literally just like that enemy and like one other guy. Whether it's another one of those guys or a Beemos. They just... <laughs> it's so hard when they gang up on you like that. Okay, now we're good. I should be able to get that now. Um... Maybe I'll consider it though. Honestly, I mean, well, here's a here's the thing. If I do, um, if I do end up making a Travis costume for the Halloween party, I was literally thinking like, well, okay, maybe in a little bit, like after Metroid Dread, after I'm considering streaming one of the Monkey Ball games as well. If I get that, um, oh no, uh oh, no, don't don't hurt, don't hit me, don't hit me, no. Holy crap! How am I supposed to take out two of them? How am I supposed to do two? Genuinely, what do I do? Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Now I can focus on the one. There we go. Link, please, buddy. I swear, like, sometimes I do the horizontal slashes and it just does not go through. Uh, there we go. There is the, the boss key or the, the control key, whatever. Um, but I was thinking literally, I mean, if I do end up making that costume, then maybe I could do like a, like a quote-unquote cosplay stream of No More Heroes 3 with, uh, the Travis costume. I mean, technically, I could even, uh, I have the other games, I could stream. I was thinking I do want to revisit the original No More Heroes at some point. Maybe I could do that instead of getting three. I don't know. It's tough, because, like, I definitely, I really, I want to get three at some point. It's just, do I really want to spend... 60, or I guess, I mean, uh, I could do the 50 if I get the physical Walmart version, I think. Then Walmart has that deal with, like, new, uh, Switch releases, where it's, like, and they'll do the $10 discount. That's what I did for Monster Hunter, and I should have done for this game, but I swear I looked at Walmart and it said 60 for it, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm just not doing Walmart, so I did Best Buy instead, because you get, like, special stickers or whatever when you order from them, or, like, you order it, like, right around release. And, um, I'm gonna head down this way. You know what I mean? And I was like, okay, well then at that point it's not worth, I'll just do, uh, I'll just do the, the Best Buy version. And then it turned out I looked, like, at Walmart later, and it was like, oh, like, no, you can't do the 50. I was like, crap, I could have saved 10 bucks. Have you thought of what you want to stream for Halloween? Oh, Metroid Dread is my Halloween streaming game. Like, that is, we're celebrating Halloween early. That's what we're doing. Because that game comes out October 8th, like, less than a month, which is crazy to me. Um, I could do another game, I suppose. Like, I mean, if I'm only streaming two times a week at that point, I'm just thinking it might... I don't know. It could be like, it'll be, it'll be like, a, like a Halloween month, if anything. That's what I was thinking with Metroid Dread. Um, otherwise, I'm not, like, a horror game person. I don't really... Horror games just aren't my thing, and I really don't want to stream them. I could stream- I don't want to stream Five Nights at Freddy's. That- I don't want to stream that. <laughs> I could do the original, it's the only one I ever beat. Um, but even still, I just- I don't- I don't care enough to go through that. Um, okay, it's down a floor. But like, I, I was kind of thinking Metroid Dread would essentially be my Halloween game. Um, actually, I have some ideas for streaming that too, which could be interesting, but it'll be leading up to Halloween. And like I said, I'm really not a huge Halloween guy, so even then it's like... You know, I don't know. 
if I find anything else, like any, do I have any other Halloween games though, or any other like creepy games I could play? I have like the Goosebumps game on Steam, but like I think it's a point and click game. I'm not gonna stream that. <laughs> At least I don't think I am. I could, but no one would watch. <laughs> so that's why I was kind of thinking Metroid Dread would be the one. I'm not into Resident Evil. I'm not really. I, I could play Resident Evil. I feel like Resident Evil I could probably handle, to be honest. It's just, it's the jump scares that I don't like. It's like FNAF, like it's it's stupid cheap. Like I, ha I hate jumps, it's just the stupid. Death Road to Canada if you wanted a horror game without, without the spooky. So, okay, when you say, Sid, when you say without the spooky, what do you mean? Because like, like I just said, it's really, it's the, um, it's the jump scares that really annoy me. To be honest, if it's like, I feel like if it's like, I mean, psychological horror will keep me up at night, but I, it's still, I'd rather play a game like that than a jump scare game like Five Nights at Freddy's. So if it's anything like that, if it's jump scares, then no, I'm not interested. How the hell does this key go in? What? Okay, I gotta pay attention for a second. Hold up. Maybe it doesn't go in this way. No, it definitely is supposed to go in. Why am I having so much trouble here? Does that... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, that doesn't go there. Where the hell would that go? Wow, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Which way does this go in? Hold up. It's got to go on the side somewhere, then. I'm trying to think, because literally... I'm, I'm trying to base it off of this staircase-looking shape right here. It's Oregon Trail, but with zombies. It's funny. Okay. I mean, how much is it? Is it on Steam or something? Like, I could maybe get it there. Is it free? Because that would be interesting. Um, it sounds interesting. I actually, to, to be fair, I've never played the original Oregon Trail, so... That's kind of funny, though. Ah, oh, come on. That should work. Um... How am I not getting this? Like, this is kind of weird. Um, why is this so difficult for me to get? Hmm. This way? Maybe? Possibly? No? Oh, I thought I got to recalibrate. There we go. Why? Why are you like this? Oh, hold up. Maybe... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. What? Put it in. There we go. That was really... That was very misleading. Because most of the keys up to this point were, like, perfect fits. But that one wasn't. So, like, I mean, it, te it fit in the hole, but it was, like... It wasn't exactly... Sh the hole wasn't exactly shaped to the key, so that threw me off, so... That's why it takes a lot. <laughs> I'm blaming that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's totally the tentacle monster. Yep, I called it. There we go. We love tentacles here on this stream. Okay, well, now what do I do? What? Am I supposed to go back up now? Oh, I'm supposed to go to the top of the ship, aren't I? I think I gotta go back up. Oh, yeah, okay. Get your tentacles out of here! This ain't some hentai shit. Get it out of here. A monster of considerable size, I can tell? Fine, thank you. The ship's under attack. Make her with sacred power. Are we talking, um, talking Skyward Strikes, right? Get out of here. Bye bye. Yeah, it's definitely the tentacle monster I'm thinking of. Oh! It's Donkey Kong. Watch out, Donkey Kong's up there. It's tentacle Donkey Kong <laughs> rolling the barrels down. Uh oh, that's not good. Water's gonna raise up. I gotta watch out. This is actually kind of interesting. I really like this a lot, actually. This is super cool. Honestly, 
Wow! I might like this dun I might like this dungeon better than the Ancient Cistern. I'm actually really liking this dungeon. Like the ways that they're finding to kind of like um, go back and forth from the deck to the basement, and then also this whole section with the tentacles and like completely changing the environment. I was literally navigating this before, and it's completely different now because the ship's under attack. So it's like it's kind of cool. Warning, Master. There is a big Donkey Kong with tentacles out there waiting for you. No crap, Fi! The primary body mass of the- yeah, okay, blah, 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 whatever. Let's go! I have all necessary preparations. Can I even save- the- what do you mean all necessary preparations? The bird statue's gone, I can't do anything anymore, I can't save. I've got a potion and a fairy, okay. I am all set to go. Yeah, speaking of Halloween, one thing I wonder is, because, like, the apartment complex I'm in now is, like, it's a legit complex, so there's, like, multiple, um, units, like, in the one building. Compared to what I had before, where it was, like, maybe four to eight units per building, and it was, like, a townhouse style. Um, I wonder if anybody does trick-or-treating here for Halloween, like, they'll, like, or, like, they'll put, like, you know, like, bowls of candy out or something. I kind of wonder, you know? Oh, that is... Some freaky Mike Wazowski stuff going on. Tenthalus. I've heard the boss is easy, though, so let's see how this goes. Where are you going, friend? Oh, there's a cube up there. That's interesting. What? No! I was trying to use the Skyward Slash, but okay, maybe it doesn't. You can't do it against the tentacles in this part. Okay. Whoa. Don't like that. No! If I just stay far away enough, I should be good. I, f I figured I could do a Skyward Slash again. Maybe, oh, maybe I can, honestly. I just have to shoot from far away enough. Oh, I don't like that. What? How? Hold up. It's just tough, because it's like... No, okay, hold up. There we go. Okay. It's just kind of tough to, like, time. Because the Skyward Sword's annoying. Or, sorry, the, uh, the Skyward Slash is kind of annoying as it is. And, like, if I get too close, I'm gonna... Um... It's... It is... Sid, you're right. It is the, the, the child of Mike and, uh... What was her name? Celia, I think it was, in Monsters, Inc.? It's literally the comedy that's so funny that you bring that up. I didn't even think of that. There we go. I just, I have to time this right. It's kind of difficult. What? Okay, how did that reach me? I, I'm genuinely curious. So much for this being easy. And I can't, I was kind of hoping I could hit that guy from there. There we go. What? How? Wow, okay. I did a vertical slash. That was the issue there. I think I just gotta, I gotta make sure I do horizontal slashes here. Oh, okay. Okay. What? It's 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 not counting it because it's a a vertical slash rather than a horizontal. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. This is getting a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Do, or does that does that count? I genuinely can't tell if it counts or not. Well, this is getting annoying. Take out that tentacle. There we go. Link, come on, buddy. Buddy, okay. Fine. Decide not to work. Fine. That's all good. There we go. I think it's counting. I can't tell, though. No! Oh, God. I just completely missed it. This is getting super annoying. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't difficult. It's just annoying as shit. Okay, there we go. No, it, it wasn't counting. Because I wasn't doing a horizontal slash. It was doing a vertical slash instead. So the question is... Okay. It's almost tough to do a horizontal slash. Because you have to raise the sword... Wait. 
Are you literally telling me this whole time you store the charge of the Skyward um, the Skyward Strike and then you can literally send it off in any direction you want? Are you kidding me? You know what? It would have been nice if I actually paid attention to that earlier. That's great. Oh. Just gonna stand there? Come on. Ah! I did not, okay. I did not see them doing that. That's funny. It's funny because this boss is supposed to be like stupid easy and I'm like making all the mistakes with it. I'm not gonna do that. Get out the way. Pretty boy coming through. It's me and my crew. I don't know how the rest of the song goes and I don't care because it's Soldier Boy and Soldier Boy's back. There we go. Get your eye back here. I see you. Come on. There we go. Smack that eye. You're right though, Sid. It is literally the love child of, um... It's literally the child of Mike Wazowski and, yeah, his girlfriend's... I think it was Celia, if I remember correctly. You know, it really would have been nice to know that I could store the charge of the Skyward Slash. You know, because this whole time I thought you had to shoot it out vertically. Right, so now I can actually slice the tentacles right. Okay. Now I know. Come on, Link, please, buddy. Ooh! Taking out multiple tentacles, baby! I gotta, like, recalibrate it every time, too. There we go. Oh, that was a lot. There we go. Now we're talking. Now that I know to do that, it's a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Where she's coming now? There she is. Uh-oh. Fire! Oh, what? Okay, can I... What happens if I run out of arrows? What? Come on. Jeez. What if I literally run out of arrows? There we go. Because I swear the aiming sometimes is not good. It's very sensitive, I will say. Ugh, I'm just going to wail on it at that point. Just destroy its eye. <laughs> You're not waking up well in the morning, let me tell you. And let me let me store a Skyward Strike and then... How long does it let me keep it, actually? Decent amount, okay. There we go. Now that I know you can actually store the charge, that's making it so much easier. Nope, okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Get away from me. Tentacles. Shit. What? No! Okay, come on. There we go. That's another one. I think that's enough. There we go. What is that cube supposed to be for up there? Ah! Oh, I was trying to get an, uh, an arrow off, like, right away to see if I would, uh... No, what? Jeez, okay. Can I literally... Come on. What? How? What? Hold up. Hold the phone. I'm literally going to run out of arrows. There we go. I was literally about to run out of arrows. Get over here, Tentalus. You're done. You are done. Is that it? Or is that, what, phase two? Mike Wazowski. Oh, phase two. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the cube. I gotta get out of here! What? I don't think this boss is super easy, to be honest. I mean, like... I can see why people say it's a little easy, but I don't... I mean, I, I, I mean just because I didn't know you could store the charge of the Skyward Strike, yeah, that's, uh, that's what threw me off. So here's the thing, Tentalus. I have three arrows left. What the heck are those? Is that Unagi from Mario 64? Stop it! Oh, arrows. Yes, 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 yes. No, give me. Give me. Give me. 
Give me the arrows. Why do I not have my shield out? That would help a lot. Please. Oh! <laughs> I like how she's just patiently waiting for Link to get back up. Like, Link! Link, buddy! Get your stupid... Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. I can just shoot her with an arrow now. Please don't hit me. Please don't. Yeah. Perfect. Get over here. Tentulus, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Get over here. Uh oh. Gotta watch out, they're gonna knock me off. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I gotta kill enough of them before I can actually shoot her eye, huh? <laughs> Alright, come on, send the Unagis after me. These terrifying nightmare creatures. There we go. Don't. Okay, get, get the hell out of here. I can't see a goddamn thing! Get out of here! Get the hell out of here. Let me just shoot her eye, yeah! Go away! Is there an easier way to take them all out? Because they just keep respawning. Can I, if I just rush her eye, I wonder. I need... Okay. Give me the fairy. Give me the fairy. No, don't knock me off again. Please don't. Ah! Okay, I, maybe it looks like she stopped spawning them after a bit. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. I think I was just supposed to wait for it, but that's it. That's it. She's got to be done. Get out of here! Go away! Shoot! You fucking hell spawn creature thing? Get out of here. You're done. <laughs> and thus, thus Mike Wazowski's child was no more. Mike Wazowski! I mean, to be honest, it kind of looks like the uh, the little costume that Boo had on that they put Boo in to make her look like a monster. It, pre it looks pretty similar to that. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Oh, the symbol. Is that Nehru symbol? Mm. Skyward Strike to that will do the trick, but let me get this heart container first. Yay. I've always been interested in, like playthroughs of Zelda games where, like, you purposefully avoid all of the health upgrades that you physically can. You know, like, ignoring all the heart containers at, uh, once you beat a boss or all the pieces of heart and everything. But, like, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. I'd have to stock up on a ton of potions. But, okay, let's we'll see what happens now. Oh, the Sacred Flame! That's what it is. Now we can temper the sword, the goddess sword, to get more... I don't know. Maybe it's more defense? Because it's Lene or it's Nehru? I'm not sure. Let's see what 5 says. This is the second flame, remember. The blue flame. We had the green one and now the blue one. 5's evolving. Da, 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 Okay. 5 evolved into AI super intelligence. <laughs> Get out of the link, okay. <laughs> Bai tried to kill him! Bai's turning against him now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She's trying to kill him! Look, she's sending the fireballs at him! <laughs> You're trying to kill him! Oh, wow. That is a powered-up sword if I've ever seen it. Does it get longer, too, now? Because I remember the, the bamboo... It doesn't look much longer, honestly. Oh, that's all it does? Just upgrades the amount I can search for dowsing? Whoa, that's a lot of stuff to douse for. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Was it because I remember... I think it mentioned when I got the first Sacred Flame in the Ancient Sister, and I think... It was technically the blade was made longer by the flame. I believe it mentioned. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it mentioned that. Um... And so, like, yeah, in this case, did it make it longer? Because I do need... The longer the sword is, the easier that Bamboo Island challenge will be, which I wasn't able to beat last time, so... Oh, really? And it's so... Interesting. Each time you get a Sacred Flame, you get a piece of the Triforce, too. <laughs> oh, yay, more dowsing. I know, right, Sid? It's... <laughs> it's like... Do you really... I mean, if you're looking for specific materials, I suppose, for, like, upgrades and stuff, it could be useful. 
With your sword in hands, you can now learn a new melody. Okay, so... I'm, about, I'm literally gonna end the stream after this. But, um... Yeah, because I'm, I'm way over now. Two and a half hours. Skippa! Thanks for getting my ship back. You got your crew. Oh, and they fixed the ship up. Nice. I wish you good luck. Come visit again. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I'm bad. They brought me back to the entrance. Awesome. Okay. I'm literally going to end the stream right here because, yeah, I'm, I'm way over. And I need to get ready for bed. Because <laughs> I... Well, not completely. I'll probably... I'll watch over the VOD in the morning, honestly. I don't feel like watching it now, but... Oh, why did I, I should have saved and quit. How many hours did it say? 28, look at that. Solid, solid. And that's the next, that's the second uh, Sacred Flame done. So I think there's only one more Sacred Flame. And then, I don't know. So I'm going to have to go back to the Elden area, I know. Um, but I don't know if there's, um... yeah, Sid, no, it's awesome having you here. Yeah, have a, have a good night as well. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, so I'm wondering if next time... I still got the one sacred flame left to do, and then I'm guessing, I I, I could have sworn you have to re like I heard you have to revisit each like main area three times, but maybe this is it. Maybe I just get the last sacred flame. I do the final trial, get the sacred flame, and then move on to the end. I'm hoping that'd be great because like honestly, at this point, the sooner I get to this game, the better. Not that I'm trying to rush it because I'm enjoying it a lot, but it's also just like I wanna I wanna make sure I get it done before. Metroid Dread. So just to reiterate, like I said at the beginning of the stream, for now, for Skyward Sword HD, I'm still going to be streaming three times a week. So next stream should be Tuesday night, um, just in a couple days, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, that should be the next stream, and then I'll do Thursday as well. Um, once I'm done with Skyward Sword HD, though, I think I'm going to switch to two times a week, but I'll, I'll confirm that on Twitter and YouTube and everything afterwards once I finalize the details there. But um, for now, it'll be more Skyward Sword on a Tuesday night. So thank you again for watching if you did tonight. However you watch, like I always say, I always do very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, next time should be probably more side quests, to be honest. Another low-key stream like the last uh, Skyward Sword HD stream I did. But um, made a lot of good progress here for sure with the, the second dungeon. So um, next time should be good as well. But in the meantime, enjoy the the very remains of the weekend if you're even still on the weekend. Uh, <laughs> depending on what time zone you're in but uh yeah i'll see you all next time take care in the meantime and uh just chill and have fun that's what life's all about see ya